<gasps> Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, happy Friday night. It's time for some Magical Girl shenanigans. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so hyped to be here. I'm so excited to play with all these folks because when I mentioned this Ooh. game, they were all like, heck yes. So yes, we are here to be the keepers of the cards today. Uh, I'm so, so, so excited. Uh, if you put exclamation point keepers in the uh, chat, you can get some information on this game. If you put exclamation point cast, if someone will do that for me, we'll get to see all these cool folks uh, and you can find them and what they're doing. Oh my goodness, starting right off. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey. Super duper heckin' oh, appreciate it. <laughs> hey. Perfect. And, um... Yeah, so we have this game up on screen so y'all can see and play along with us. We're very excited to be playing this today. It's uh, Keepers of the Cards. It is uh, a Descended from the Queen. If you know For the Queen, uh, it is sort of um, a complete reflavoring of that in the theme of Magical Girls and card Cardcaptor Sakura. Um, instead of using uh, a typical deck, it uses a tarot deck. It is very magical and fun, and I'm so excited to play this. So let's go around and say hi to everyone. Oh, I should say, uh, I'm Jess. <laughs> yeah, you can find me at GoJessCoreyJG. This is my channel. So if you've already found this, you've found it. Good job. Um, but yeah, I'll be playing Yuki today. Uh, I use she, they pronouns. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to be a heckin' magical girl with all these cool folks. Let's go say hi to who's next. It's Latia. It's me. Hi, I'm Latia. You may know me as the Lady Peepling across everywhere that a social media account can be had. <laughs> Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and today I will be playing magical girl Vera, whose pronouns are also she, her. Um, I've had to sneeze for the last several <laughs> seconds, so pardon me if I mute expectedly uh, to make sure that none of you hear my gross sneeze noises. I'm excited to be here. I'm so excited to play this game. I've never played For the Queen before, but this is going to be really fun. Oh, it's so good. I think you're going to have a good time. I'm excited. A bit like it's on my shelf right now, but I do not. I've never played it. <sighs> That's the that's the problem. That's the always problem of tabletop <laughs> games. You collect mm -hmm. them all and you never have time. Yeah, well, I'm exactly. glad we could fix that a little bit. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Uh, next, we're gonna go say hi to Megan. Hey, I'm Megan. I use she/her pronouns. You can find me basically everywhere that exists at Megan Lynn FTW. And today, I am going to be playing Lila, who also uses she/her pronouns. And I'm just like so excited for magical girl shenanigans. Heck yeah. Perfect. And last but most certainly not least is K.A. Hi, K.A. Hi, I'm K.A. I am going to be playing Zelda today. We both use she, her pronouns. You can find me either at Little Red Alchemist on Twitter or at Market Catter Dev if you care about my game dev thing. Heck yeah. We were discussing some of K.A.'s games while we were getting started, and y'all, you might be seeing that I might be asking K.A. to come run some of them on the stream sometime soon. They sound so good. <laughs> I, I am at your disposal. Amazing. Um, yeah, so one of the great things uh, about this game and about For the Queen is uh, even if you don't know how to play, it is so easy to jump into. And literally part of the rules is that you start by reading the rules all together and getting a feel for this game and for this world and how you play it and what we're doing in it. So we're going to do that right now. And uh, we're going to go in the order we have on uh, on screen. Um, so I will start. Um, so instructions to guide play gather as friends or would be friends we take turns reading these instructions out loud uh, number two we are children made of magic and hope how we came to wield this magic may be different for child but we all bear the responsibility of it the magician left their mark on our world and through their legacy they created a powerful deck of cards each card houses a creature of pure magic potential and wonder when we discovered the deck hidden away all these years it came to life the creatures the creatures escaped and are hidden, hidden away in a world that may or may not believe in magic this world certainly doesn't believe in children i love i feel like that's such a descriptive sentiment that little sentence right there it is we must seek out these creatures, convince them through force, charm, or magic to return to the deck. 
Go through the Magician cards or Major Arcana cards. Choose a card or pick one at random. This magician will establish truths of magic and your world. So make sure everyone is excited about this. Answer the questions. Go through the creature cards or major arcana cards again and choose one to three cards. This will establish the truths of the magic of the creatures you seek to recapture. Once again, make sure everyone is happy about the tone of the story thus far. As each player shuffle a plant deck or terror deck major arcana card, major arcana cards removed thoroughly and place the deck within easy reach of everyone within the group. Have each player shuffle the prompt deck or tarot deck, major arcana cards removed thoroughly and place said deck within easy reach of everyone in the group. After the deck is set within reach of everyone, place the final question card or wheel of fortune major arcana card somewhere in the bottom third of the deck. The final question asks, Will you free the creatures of magic, or will you claim this deck of power for yourselves? Oh, we're doing voices? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Once all the instructions have been read aloud, play begins. Going clockwise, take turns drawing a prompt card and reading the text out loud. Answer intuitively your story. Each player may ask a follow-up question on your turn, but it's up to you whether you answer them. Place the X card somewhere where everyone can easily reach it. If you are using the tarot, you can use the Magician as the X card. So we can actually lay that one out after we do that thing. And then that's another option is just, since in Rule 20 we can all ping, that's another option. And I'm going to leave it. I'll say it afterwards. <laughs> I was going to say, because I'm like, should I punch my screen if I have to use the X card? <laughs> Uh, if you encounter a card, an answer, or other content that you don't want to be included in the game, tap the X card. This content is removed from the game. If your card or answer is removed with the X card, simply draw another card. You can X a card you drew yourself. Alter alternatively, you can pass a prompt or tarot card you drew on your turn to another player, asking, what would, you, what would be your answer? Once the prompt is answered, the turn goes back to the person who originally drew the card. This process can be repeated until either the question is answered by another player, the question is left unanswered by the entire group, or until someone applies the X card to it. Continue pa answering, passing, and X carding prompts until the final question or the Wheel of Fortune card is drawn. Each player should answer that question in turn and narrate an epilogue for their respective characters as the game ends. Whoever last watched a cartoon draws the first <laughs> prompt card. <laughs> Who last watched a cartoon? Um, I, I watched, watched Bob's Burgers last night. Oh, okay. Nope. Because I watched Ma Mattress Ladybug. <laughs> I watch a lot of cartoons. <laughs> Well, no. If you would ask me on, if you ask me on Saturday, because I always watch the same shows on Saturday. <laughs> so, I, if this was, if this was tomorrow, I would have won. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the last time I watched a cartoon. Oh. <laughs> you watch know, this Ladybug. It's a great magic show. <laughs> I've heard some really good stuff about it. It comes in French. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, I the last cartoon I watched was Card Captor Sakura, but I think it was a few days ago. So I think. Megan, I think technically you are first. So well you get to do the magician since we discussed this. We discussed uh, according to the rules, uh, the first person draws the magician and then um, the next folks can um, fill, out the, fill out sort of the creature information of the world. Um, so Megan, you get to do the magician, I guess. So that's major. The major, yeah, off the top. Okay. Oops, goodness gracious. Where did, where did it where did it go? <laughs> did it go oh, you put it up there. I see it. Okay. Yeah. So the hanged man. That's. Let's go read the rule book. Yep. <laughs> um. He. All right. So. The hanged man. The magician was a martyr who made the ultimate sacrifice. They faced death and paid dearly for it. In doing so, magic was changed forever, and we now see far into the mutable and ever-changing future. 
what does it take to become an oracle? Why is time magic prohibited? <laughs> yeah, Megan, why is time magic prohibited? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one hell of a question. Hmm. That's a like, big we're one. Just starting, we're just starting off with a bang. <laughs> yeah, like this is just, we're just going to jump right in, eh? Um, <laughs> so I think so. The first question was, what does it take to become an oracle? I think that the magician is an oracle now. I feel like they're, if you make that kind of sacrifice, like for the greater good or like protecting someone or something like that, like then you get to kind of come back as an oracle that can be consulted by other people who are um, magicians in training or people like who do magic and wield magic. Um, Oh, I think, I mean, it, the, the obvious answer as to why time magic is prohibited is so you don't go mess the past up and then you mess the future up and um, t time is time is fickle. So I think it's it's really just as straightforward as you don't use time magic because you can upset far too much um, with just like even like the littlest bit of time magic you can, you upset too much. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yay, time magic is bad. Time magic. Hmm. <laughs> time magic. Bad things happen when you mess with time travel. I feel like maybe the magician uh, made the ultimate sacrifice by fixing <gasps> some broken Ooh. time magic. I really oh, like that. Be I like that a lot. I like that as well. So in, in going back and fixing whatever somebody else messed up, they became the oracle that, uh, that we now seek to consult in our, in our magician training. They like stand as a reminder to mm -hmm. not mess with time magic. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's like, is like while while being the oracle is um like it's very prestigious but it's not like it's it's kind of a hard not burden right. yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not something that you want to aspire like, yeah, to be exactly <laughs> you don't <laughs> you're not like i'm gonna die just in an incredibly heroic way and i'm gonna be an oracle right, exactly. no one wants that yeah it's like if it happens i'm not mad about it but i'm also not aiming for that goal yeah. Okay. So, so the the magician, the previous magician is now the oracle. Mm -hmm. They had to sacrifice and get in that role to to save something. Mm -hmm. Do we know what it is? Is that something we're gonna figure out later? I think it's something we'll figure out later. Yeah, I feel like yeah. that's that's the fun. We just yeah. know that it's something to they they fixed something in time that had been messed up, mm -hmm. or they sacrificed in trying to in setting time back to to what it correct. is <laughs> yeah fix the time fix the timeline the snitching yes. time mm -hmm. they're kim possible yes uh i believe i am next yeah yes yeah. yeah, so you get to I... do um the first creature card so it's also okay. still major arcana but it's uh a different kind of element. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see what I drew, but I drew it and I could I don't know how to get it out of my hand. Um, you should be able to click it. Oh, <laughs> do you want me to play it for you? I can see it. <laughs> my card for me. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, steal I can it. I can steal it from you. Oh, that's steal interesting. It. Eh. eh. Stop thief. Okay. What? It is the oh. fool. Do you want to tell us what this means? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me find. <laughs> yeah, so the first so these round are the of features now. Yeah, because yeah. the first round of prompts, like um, if you are in the document, there's the instructions, and then there's a little bit of like extra stuff. If you want it tells you like little hints of like if you want to do extra magic, you can also describe your transformation sequence every time, which is I I yeah, mean, which we should probably thought about, do. I've been low key thinking about what my transformation <laughs> sequence looks like. 
I just know it's purple and glittery, but we're gonna figure the rest of it out. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing is is um, when you're doing the prompts, if you want to use the images on the tarot, it suggests like you can use that as a as an additional thing. And then the next thing is all the magician cards, and then the next thing is all the um, creatures. Yeah. So the creature, the creature we must recapture are the the, the the creatures we must recapture are elementals aspect of earth, sea, and sky imbued with the purest magic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not, not sorry that it, it, the, the elements are against us. <laughs> <laughs> it's appropriate that the last episode of Card Captor Sakura I watched was the one where she captures the watery card. Yeah, oh. like, hmm, hmm. that's one of the last ones I saw too with the penguins. With the penguins, when, when Sakura's just like, no penguins. <laughs> Must protect the penguins. Losing her mind about the penguins, <laughs> and her brother's just inexplicably like, yeah, I've worked with the penguins for like months. Are you not paying attention to my life, Sakura? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm no. not. I'm a little busy. <laughs> There's a lot happening. <laughs> Amazing. Um. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we had to, we had to capture elementals, uh, earth, sea, and sky. At least there's no fire elemental. At least yeah. there's no fire elemental. I mean, I think it's a little bit up for debate if you want to declare other elementals and stuff like that. No, I don't want to fight with fire. <laughs> You're like, no. <laughs> Unless somebody has fire powers, because that's how you fight fire, right? Exactly. With with more fire. Fire. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pull the next one. It is flip. Ooh, temperance. What is that? Ooh. It is. Ooh, wow, that's really interesting, and it goes with the one you pulled. It's um, awesome. The cards we must recapture are all that's left of an ancient underwater world, and they seek to create their own utopia away from humans. My mermaid senses are tingling. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think um, part of the reason that we need to capture elementals of many types is because they want to maybe rebuild their underwater world. And to help them, we need to freeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to breathe. Yeah. Well, and then they also need earth to like, Building, mm -hmm. yeah, like terraform and stuff, yeah. And fire has no place I was underwater. Say, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's that so works perfect. out really well. That works out really oh, well. So it works out so well with what oh, you said. It's oh, I'm just, so I love it. Okay, so it's my oh. turn now. We're going Let's to see. Atlantis, y'all. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See what this final aspect of our creatures is. One card. Oh, okay. There it is. Yes. I did the same thing. How did you do that? <laughs> and then if you right click, you should be able to flip it over. Oh, there we yeah. go. Okay. The chariot. Ooh. So what this means, oh, great. Uh, the creatures we must recapture are faster than light and sound <laughs> and need the strongest and bravest magic to track them. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, yeah, fine. Cool. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so far we have elemental, sky, earth, and air. Yep. Sky, earth, and water. Yeah. We have, they're rebuilding Atlantis. Yeah. And they're fashion of light and sound. Just, just to recap for the, yeah. for the viewers at home. Yeah, no, this is no, fine. So this will be fine. We're, I mean, we're four children. What's the worst that can right. happen? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm twelve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing! I'm so excited. Um, uh, this is great. Yep. Yeah. Uh, give me one. Going to be fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna check one thing real quick. Oh, it doesn't show me. I was hoping to see that. So we can, yeah, we can just push all those off to the side and then keep that pile going. And then we can actually start pulling from the minor tarot, which is the one Yay! just underneath. And those are going to be all our story prompts. Our story prompts. Yay! I love it. Okay. At least we know where we're going with this. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, 
I like I said, I've never played for the for the queen. I know the premise of for the queen, mm-hmm. but to create a story, a story element like to include a story element like mm-hmm. this, and Sword Queen is in is in chat, by the way. I know. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Um, we love your stuff. Thank we you. We love for you, being Jamie, here. so much. Um, <laughs> To create, to have a story element like this that is so tightly knit and kind of almost a clear cut way of where we should go, I think that's really great. Real, real cool. I'm very excited. Um, oh, it's me. I draw the first card. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it's your own fault for watching cartoons, oh, Megan. <laughs> that's, God. It's rare that I watch shows with humans in it <laughs> like actual <laughs> real life people um let's see nine of swords all right let's see what we got pentacles cup swords oh goodness you're plagued by a personal problem <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to start hearing just... about our friend lila <laughs> yep. um, hi lila how can we help you yeah what makes you finally tell another keeper how do they help you Okay, so it's not just, like, the typical anime, like, it's not just that Lila is running to school with toast in her mouth late for school, or anything. It's a little bit bigger than that. Yes, it's all, I, I've pictured, because I also was immediately like, oh, like, what are all these anime tropes? Like, what can I, I think Lila yeah. is, like, the really smart one, like, that, like, the very bookish, like, studious type, because I have a type, and I like that type. Um actually you know what i lied she's not smart she's gonna be a disaster like me um like sailor venus because that's my favorite hey, oh. Just a, her best okay i'll accept that i wouldn't have that <laughs> i love minako yep just big old mess just trying her best which I is love my it. other type <laughs> <laughs> um so my personal problem um hmm i think that so we are all we're all children yes so i think that i'm having trouble in school and i'm failing one of my classes because we keep going out on all these like magical adventures that's extremely (laughs) valid I (laughs) i just can't get my homework done and I might have to start like staying after school or like going to summer school. And I don't have time for that because like we are going on magical adventures. Um, Mm -hmm. And I've been just trying to get it together and trying to like figure it out on my own. Cause like, no, everybody else is doing fine in school. I don't know why I can't keep my stuff together, but I'm faking it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But I think what makes me, tell another one of the keepers is I get like a note from the teacher it's like all right if you keep doing the way that you do or going you will be in summer school for the entire summer oh no oh Oh, no we don't have time for that and we do not have time for that we have magic things to do (laughs) oh no um and I think that everyone kind of like bands together and like helps me study my little disaster self fuck i believe in us study yeah. night oh my god Thank we're you. like yeah just like lots of study nights and like maybe a I little think... bit of um copying off of homework type of deal <laughs> like it's not all on the up and up right yeah, no, so you gotta do what you gotta do absolutely <laughs> nefarious and i think um there may have been like one or two times we've had to go out and do magic things just as a three-person team because you absolutely needed to like the the cram night before the next big test. It's like no, you have to stay home and do Wait, this. The, the, we'll the, be fine. The, Which the, the bigger, the larger scale sacrifice needed to be made because <laughs> individually, right now, if you come with us, you're, we're, we'll be screwed during the summer. Like we, Which is, we can't just, do this all mm-hmm. summer. Yeah, we're devastating. I'm like, can you just like remember every single thing that happened so you can come back and tell me when you get back? yeah (laughs) okay all right um which one of us is the one that literally has to like does one of us have to like stop at and hold you at the door like no like physically like no probably she's like 
I she's don't a mid transformation. Oh because yeah, we haven't established what our types are otherwise. That's true. But I think that somebody definitely is like, no, like give me your transformation, <laughs> whatever it is you use. Like give me your transformation gem. You're not coming with us. Yeah, <laughs> like whatever it is we use to transform. It's like no, you're not going to show like, up. Mm-hmm. It's like you're, you're, you're mid- out the window. <laughs> you're like, mid transformation, and it's like, no, stop the sequence. That's probably yeah. happened where it's like, all right, you stay home and you work on your work, and then we'll be back. And then, like, 15 minutes later, I come running up. It's like, I finished my work. You're like, no, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't. We don't believe you. <laughs> Show your work. So now it's like, this is for your own good. <laughs> Turn in your Turn badge, your badge, badge and scepter. Your badge and scepter. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we we're all it. very good friends, but <laughs> like, there has to be another way. Listen, you can't be my little girl forever. Eventually, you're gonna have to like go get a job. <laughs> that's for the future. That's for yeah, future. That... I'm 11. I got the world at my feet. <laughs> Possibilities are endless. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. I believe I'm next, right? I'm yep. Next. Yep. Minor tarot card, right? Yep. Now I want to. How do I do this? Are you not able to um, pull it out the I top? And you kind of like, yeah, yeah, and then just right click, flip it. Try that. Right. Seven of coins. coins. So I think the coins is the um the pentacles. Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. In in this deck, which also if you put exclamation point tarot in the uh, in the chat, you can <laughs> see the cool artist who made this cool stuff. <laughs> it's time for exams. You're barely ready. How do one of the creatures? How does one of the creatures help you? And why do you let it go free? <laughs> Ooh, that's so interesting. <laughs> so I like we the, oh. No, 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 I was just going to say, are we all, have we all at some point been school disaster? <laughs> yes! No, I, 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 I was laughing at Lila, but secret is Zelda doesn't understand what's going on. Zelda's just faking it the best that she can. Or is Zelda like the type that just like, everything just comes very easily? Where it's like, yeah, this isn't hard. Yeah, no, I, 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 I you're like struggling. I'm just like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I, and I can't help you. I don't, I, I'm like, Zelda's so good at things at, at school specifically at school mm-hmm. like she's so good at school like that, that's like she she's the gifted child Ooh. she has no understanding mm-hmm. of how to explain to you right. what you're doing wrong <laughs> you just do it like, i don't understand you just yeah you just do it. the teacher says stuff and then you know it, you know it. and then like and then you do it <laughs> exactly. and i was just like i'm sorry what <laughs> that was just like I don't know, like, wh- wh- how how can I help you? But, like, I also don't, like, I don't understand the problem. Like, I don't understand the problem. So when I, like, I'm not, like, so I'm going to pass this card to Lila. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, God. <gasps> to, to maintain, to maintain the plot. Oh, my God, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay. This card cool, sounds like cool. it belongs to you. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. I think this is yours. Oh, oh sorry, disaster. you drop you drop this. Disaster is gonna disaster, you know. Um, so, how does one of the creatures help you? I th- hmm. Remember, they're elemental. Yeah. Is it oh, science? you know what it is? Science. So, yeah. I was gonna say. I think that it's. I was thinking about her PE, and then like PE doesn't have exams. They have like fitness tests, but not like. No, PE has exams. I failed PE. All right, so that's what it is. So it's PE. And in addition to not being very bright, I'm also not very coordinated, which isn't great for a magical girl, but we're making it work. <laughs> we're doing our best. We're doing you, have our best. So, you have so much heart. You have so much heart. Yeah, just like, like miraculously graceful post-transformation sequence. Up until then, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think that one of the wind air elementals that we had captured um i like kind of like grabbed it i was like listen i gotta climb to the top of this rope or i'm not gonna pass this test 
and it kind of like pushes me up the rope like I hold on to the rope and I'm just doing this but the air is like propelling me up to the top <laughs> I'm like nailing it I'm great and it's like all right good past that and it's like all of it's just I'm this air elemental is like helping me be a little more graceful and like helping with my balance through all of these like physical um education tests um <laughs> so it's like climbing the rope like like doing like the hundred meter dash like that kind of thing I have like a little like little wing little, at your feet yeah, yeah just like little wings is it like uh, actually almost a little bit suspicious you do it yes, too we're good all the, <laughs> like, we're all like, like what I didn't know you had that in you yesterday she tripped on nothing at all <laughs> and now you know what it's but then it's also it's like how it. can, like how do you fake that so it's like right. maybe she just wasn't applying herself <laughs> maybe Did the I? pressure maybe the pressure of knowing that failure was a possibility just really pushed her to to just give it that last little bit um and i think that i'm just so grateful for this air elemental for helping me and that's why i let it go and i'm just like, fine. Be like hey be like thank you very much i owe you one and then it's like well can i can i go like all right sure <laughs> bye <laughs> bye <Thanks> so much <laughs> They're like I appreciate you. Thanks. Do we do we know you did this? Is this like I don't think so. Hmm. I think we're also just as suspicious. But <laughs> like you out on it. We're, not gonna, <laughs> we're definitely not gonna call you out on it. But that'll I come think, up later in the season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we definitely know that there was some other force at work there, but we don't know when you had the time to find this air elemental. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, when did you have time to come up the air elemental and helping you? Like, I know you did, but I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know when, so I'm not gonna, I can't prove it, so I'm not gonna accuse you of it. <laughs> I love it. Is it almost yeah. like, is it literally like one of the times that uh, Lila had to like stay home? <laughs> She got an air elemental. Yeah, so we didn't, like, we didn't even know just yet because like, it's only been like a few days since it happened. We didn't even know you didn't have time to like. But yeah. Also, oh, that's definitely. It's just like you guys are all. They're like, they're like, oh, we heard that there's like some like the fountain in the middle of the town is going nuts. So there's probably a water element. So there, we'll be back. It's like, yeah, okay. No, <laughs> just sulky. It's like oh. air elemental no, no. flies by. <laughs> You're mine. I'm You're my friend. friend. <laughs> I also like that this establishes a secret between us this early in the game. Okay. Surely nothing can come from this. Yeah. Everything will be fine. We are fine. Okay, did you want to try drawing another card yep. since you need yes. to do yours? Okay, let's let's flick a card up. Like flip the card over. Ace of Ooh. Swords. Ooh. This document is so pretty also. So beautiful, and it's so I, I love that I can search it. Yeah. Ooh, this is interesting. You find a new weapon that unlocks new magic within you. What is it, and how does it change your heart? Um, I get new weapons. I didn't even know what my old weapon was. <laughs> maybe this is your first weapon. Yeah, maybe like you know we have powers, but not exactly weapons all the Ooh. time. Maybe you have like the uh, first weapon. I have a weapon. Okay. Um. Mm. I, it unlocks new magic within Zelda. I feel like because I like them, I want it to be a halberd, uh, uh, a large pointy stick thing. Halberd, best <laughs> weapon. Yes. Halberd, yeah. Pol pole arms, pole arms, best, best weapon. Po pole arms. Gotta, gotta, keep, gotta keep my range. Yep. Pole arm <laughs> appreciation <laughs> club. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And. I want to say it gives not not necessarily a change of heart, but it gives me more confidence. Mm, I like that. Because I like to think that Zelda, despite being the gifted child um, in school, isn't very gifted at anything else. Like she's she's not a, um she's doing her best that she can as a magical girl. And mm. it involves a lot of running away. But now, look, I can fight back. I, I can keep them back. Stay away from me. 
Um, so I think that that the change of heart isn't some sort of change of heart, like a change in personality, change of heart, but like a growth in a growth in your heart. Like, hey, wait a second, I actually can do this. Yeah. Like, so, a, do you get it from like a moment of where like you per, perhaps previously you would have stood down, but yeah, it's like I I I made she's made this choice. Like, there's a, there's a creature coming towards you, and it's like you have the choice of running away versus the choice of staying. And for once, she makes the choice of staying. Like, she's like, I can do this. Like, if, if I don't do this, bad things will happen. Like, not the terrible things, just, like, minorly inconvenient things. Like, <laughs> we're, we're down a Lilith. We're, we're a, a Lila, sorry. We're down a Lila. And so we don't have time for me to be, like, having an existential crisis of my skill level. Mm-hmm. I love this. So, love, so. It. love it, love it, love it. Okay. Zelda now has a has a has a pole arm. I love it. I love now it's just like I'm just giant Sailor Saturn vibes. Tiny, and yeah. Tiny, yeah, Sailor Saturn, like tiny child with a yep. giant pole arm. Just giant. That's exactly just, what I'm imagining. Yep, just just like, like huge. Twice her size. Yeah. Perfectly weighted though. Perfect. So, yeah. like, you wonder where it goes? <laughs> but, like I pull it out of my pocket all the time. Like I have a miniature bird on my keychain, but like realistically it just like gets bigger and smaller Dude, depending is on. Is there like just like a body? Like you pull it off and you're like, nope. <laughs> yes. It's like, oops. And you're like, ah, that, that makes sense. I can also, I also like to think I can use it um, when I'm not transformed. Like Ooh. it literally just on my keychain. <laughs> just carry it around next. Time. You're like, it's this like is a my bottle house key. opener. <laughs> this, is my, this is my glam. This is the key to my mom's house. <laughs> this yeah, is the key to my much. gym locker. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, I can't, so when they do the pole vault in class, I cheat and use my pole water. <laughs> look left, Love it. look right, pull out magical glaive. <laughs> like, Here we go. Oh, it's built for me. It's See, fun. I'm not the only one who cheats at gym. <laughs> we all cheat at gym. I'll cheat at gym. Oh my god. This oh is the best. My god. Now I can't wait to see what the rest of our weapons are. If yeah. We'll get weapons. Hey, uh, continue. Okay. We're done. I'm, I'm done. Put it. I love it. I'm so excited. Oh, so okay. I love it. Unless someone has more questions from me, I'm done. No, I think that's really good. I think you explained it really well. And I have yeah. a very strong image in my head yep. of this, like, small bean with this big <laughs> weapon. And, mm-hmm. like, it's so big you would worry that it's clonky, but instead it's like, you know what I mean? Just like, like how does that even work? work? It's exactly tall enough that when I spin it, it just barely kicks up dust. Like it's the uh, perfect oh, height. The aesthetics. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Perfect. Okay. My first. Finding out who I am. Because I kept okay, I kept I also kept thinking of like, what trope am I? What am I? But then I was like, mm-hmm. no, I'm gonna let the cards tell me what I am. This is so good. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Um, oh, interest. Okay, that I guess that's me then. Mm. Okay, I guess. that's always a good sign. Oh, dang it! I didn't realize that this is who I was, but this is who oh, I am. Yes. I guess. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang. No, but uh, I mean, okay. like, we we all this need is one. like this is like Tomoyo though, and she yeah, it's true. It's awesome exactly, so. exactly. I didn't realize that's who I was, but now that I'm like, okay, I can do this. I'm excited. Okay, Nine of Pentacles is. Uh, someone very rich and powerful helped you become a keeper. What do you owe them, and what do they expect from you? Is it your mom? I was literally going to say that! I was literally going to say, it's just, it's just, like, it's just my mom is, I, I come from, like, a wealthy, like, my mom is a scientist? Was your a keeper? A what? What are you saying? Was your mom a keeper, like, <gasps> before you? Are you from a long line of keepers? Oh, and so it's like this prestigious lineage thing? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, so maybe I'm from a long line of keepers, and it's one of those things where, you know, when the fam has been doing it so long, they, you know, they've they've made a pretty successful career out of it. Yes. So there's... Um, <laughs> Uh, a long line of of like down the matriarchal side of my mm-hmm. family is like keepers. Everyone's always been a keeper, and I was like waiting for the day I could be a keeper. I'm like, 
one day it's it's gonna be my turn and you, oh. you even got to do some like of that like rich kid pre-training you know what mm-hmm. i mean like i had tutors <laughs> the, rest I guess. Of it, the rest of it just figuring it out on the fly i have mm-hmm. no idea what we're doing i love it i love it it's amazing oh no jason i didn't think of that that this is my monster of the week character dang it <laughs> um <laughs> What do you owe them? I mean, I owe them my life. They're my mom. <laughs> but also, um, uh, what do they expect from you? I feel a lot of pressure to live up to, uh, you know, my family's been doing this so long. And my mom was like, my mom is just sparkle eyes amazing. Like, my mom is like this this gorgeous, strong, smart person. Like, um she's so wise and i'm like how will i ever how will i ever be anything like that like what does she do now um because obviously you're only a keeper like while you're a a child yeah i'm trying to think of like what you would move on from from being a keeper (gasps) like what what if your mom's the oracle oh my god that's so that's sad it's super sad that's it's super, super sad. sad oh my god that's a lot of pressure to live up it's, to it's a lot that's of all. pressure well but all, yeah so like so she sacrificed herself like so i don't even have my mom anymore then because from our story that we were kind of pre-building mm-hmm. right. it's a really rough role because like, I didn't, I didn't want to immediately go to right. you know missing mom trope. So she could either she could either be the oracle or she could have been in the oracle's party. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Like you know, she could have had a team too. And now the like oh, the yeah. oracle was a was a, a keeper friend of hers. Yeah, a teammate and, of yeah. hers. Oh, I like that. I think Ooh, that's yeah. good. Cause yeah. I, I, I absolutely didn't want to go missing my no no you're totally fine and like part of me is like yes the drama but <laughs> also drama. like i don't like tormenting children too much yeah, exactly well that's good though because then she can be like listen like you need to learn from what happened to me when yeah. i was like with the magician like yeah you don't want this to happen yeah you don't want to she can, so in 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 car the soccer terms she would they call your mom could be not ua I was thinking UA. No, the <laughs> other one. Errol's, um, Errol's UA. I can't think of the other person's name oh, now. Ruby Moon? Um, Ruby Moon? Ruby Moon! Moon. Oh, I only know their English names. Sorry, guys. <laughs> right. I love it. Yeah. So I'm still trying to figure out what does she do, though? Is she, like, a business person? Is she, like, a tech she's genius? A what, if, what if she's, a like, a fashion designer? I was thinking that, too! <laughs> I was like, what if she, I didn't want to say it. I'm so glad you said it. Cause I was literally like, what if she's like high end fashion, like just amazing. And like, so she, oh, and her like, clothes she, transform. Her clothes do that thing on stage that, where they transform. And it's entirely inspired by when yes. she was a magical girl. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I love it so much. I think I, she also it has done a few of our, outfits yes, yes. yes. Probably like our first like our first outfit. set of outfits mm-hmm. yes he's like I you like... can't go out there looking like this yes like... go for it i like oh, to think so i nice. like to think that our magical girl costumes get damaged mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and so you're placed and like really really they're not magical tra- like real realistically i like to think that our costumes are actual real clothing items mm-hmm. and they're just kept in a dimensional pocket Mm-hmm. Like that's a, awesome. um, like, and she's I like maybe she's like developing like just like super durable fabric. Yeah, yeah. to me, she's like, oh no, like this is the future of textiles. It's really, it's like, no, my kids are like my <laughs> kids going out and finding these things. Right. And needs, yeah, needs a dress that won't rip. Yeah. There's <laughs> an item in uh, there's an item in the D and D Eberron book. It's called a shift weave. So it's like you store like four or five different outfits in this <gasps> shift weave that you can like change at will. It's oh, the Animal like Crossing big... magic wand. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, exactly. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, I really like Kay. I really like the idea. Like I said, I think my mom is somewhat, she's not mean, but she's very, she's kind of tough. She's had yeah. to be. Um, yeah. And I like the idea that the first time we like had a mission, we kind of got together she kind of told us how it was and was like a little bit like 
it's gonna be tough you're gonna have to do this you're gonna have to put a lot aside you're gonna like thing but then at the end of this like long talk she was like and now costumes <laughs> like fashion it's time Your to dress up the try and stuff yeah. up montage yeah yeah so she like she you know softened it up with, with cute clothes at the end <laughs> Oh, it's so good. I can also think that your mom is like she's she's a good Karen. Mm. So if anything goes wrong, like if anything happens to us that needs adult interference, she's there. You know, like well, if you, you had to, Karen? like she's Karen. A, a a good Karen. Like, like, like I, I yes, like a K A R E N. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So it's like if if anything goes wrong, that like if we're suffering because we need to do our uh, our keeper duty, she's the one who's up there like, well, my ch- our children are doing this, 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 and this, and and she makes it so that we can continue doing our keeper duties <laughs> and also continue school. Yeah, I like Good I mom. like I like to think yeah I like to think she actually is like. Um, not even necessarily of like so many words like she'll come in and tell them how it is yep but it's just kind of like somewhat of it is just her presence Mm -hmm. from having Mm -hmm. like she has you know had to take down literal monsters (laughs) previously she doesn't say much but what she says is like very profound and important Mm -hmm. yes you 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 you, you, you're quiet and you listen when she says things because she doesn't waste words yeah I love it. All Amazing. right. Uh, time to find out who I am. Here we go. Give me the card. I'm going to take the card. I'm going to take the card. Put the card up there. I believe in you. <laughs> it won't. There we go. Okay. I got it. I got it. Mm-hmm. Four of coins. Ooh, we're selling in pentacles. Yeah. A mundane human who doesn't know about the world of magic has made friends with one of the creatures. How do you convince them to let them go? Oh, oh no. Now, yeah. So am I convincing, you know, it's like I'm, I'm trying to find, am I convincing the mundane human or am I convincing the creature? And I think I might have to do a little bit of both. Yeah. Um, the kind of like are attached. It's a teddy bear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's something like cute or something like. Yeah, like so. The first thing that I thought was like a little like rock puppy, or something <gasps> that's like this earth elemental who like it's a young elemental. It's new to the world and it just wants to be friendly, and the mundane human is. Probably, I don't know, some kid at school. Yeah. <laughs> um, some kid at school who disappears after school every day to go play with his rock puppy. And, <laughs> um, but they're a friend of mine. So on non keeper nights, I, I'm curious as to where they're going. So I follow them and I see this rock puppy and I'm like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, Cause you know what that is, <laughs> right? And I'm like, wow, that's a weird thing. Are you sure it's not dangerous? And it's just like the cutest little thing, you know? It's it's a it's a round piece of earth with four stumps. Like it has no form. It's just yeah. this, yeah. It's just no form. This shapeless mass. It's adorable. Um. And how do I convince them? I don't think I'm very much of a mediator. Like my first thing, like I'm, I, I'm a zero to 100. <laughs> so my first instinct is to be like, no, this thing is bad. You have to go away right now. Um, and I might have been a little harsh. <laughs> oh no. Like... You did, like, a scare on this kid? Yeah, I did a big scare on this kid. Um, And uh, (laughs) once I realized I did a scare on the kid, it probably would have come to (laughs) (laughs) Um, y'all. I didn't know what to do. 
<laughs> that was just like. But like, does this does this mundane child become our mundane? He knows about keeper stuff, friend, or do they stay away from me forever? Do I lose this friend? <laughs> oh, I don't. Oh, you gotta have a mundane yeah. friend. Yeah, you gotta have a mundane. You gotta friend. have you gotta have the mundane friend. Yeah, you gotta have the the one who uh, goes out and you know takes video of your exploits. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or your your Xander from Buffy. Like you need to have somebody with right. like, you no know, skills, <laughs> except they're very good at supporting. Mm-hmm. They're very mm-hmm. su- exactly, they're very supportive. Clearly, oh. clearly they like they they have at least like a strong heart or a softness or mm-hmm. something that this card did want to like connect with them. So they have some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they probably just yeah they just have like a really good heart. So mm-hmm. it's like if they watch us do like magical they're things, Molly. they're like they're like this was that amazing. Was... I totally my first thought was Molly. Also, I was like <laughs> Molly. Yeah, like, and Molly a... pulls them up with that guy who's the bad guy, and they yeah. convince Molly that this is not a good thing. Mm-hmm. First yeah. of all, you're twelve, and he's like twenty something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. But so like, we've got our we've got our Molly. Mm-hmm. I love um, it. So I think. Oh, what happens is this kid, this mundane human, um, finds themselves in trouble with a much larger elemental. Oh, yes. No. Yes, and the rock is it like puppy. Like the rock puppy's mom. Yes. Bigger yes. rock. The bigger rock elemental, and the rock puppy doesn't want their new friend to be hurt and we also don't want our new fr- our, our mundane human friend to be hurt so we have to capture both um and just before we finish capturing this rock puppy the mundane human is like i understand you have to go and be with your rock mother <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know they share a a tearful embrace before we finally capture uh, the the rock dog family. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it's really it's really sad, but I think also this friend who I'm now calling, um, we'll just call them Molly. Um, yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah, we'll just call them Molly. They're like, do you do this all the time? <laughs> and we're like, eh. <laughs> so so. It's, it's, like, all the time. it's like the moment of silence where we're just like looking back and forth between one another, mm-hmm. like in our magical girl outfits. We're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. kind. Are, kind are we? Of. Are, are our outfits kind of torn? The rock <laughs> adventure like, sounds like the time our suits oh, would yeah. get messed up. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you're just like, we're all dirty and muddy. Mm-hmm. Like, just sort, like, sort of. We so, sort of do this a lot. <laughs> Um, and then they're like, can I do this? <laughs> no, 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 well, no, so no, no. Not, not, not actual X, no to, to Molly, no to Molly. Right, no, no Molly. That's a bad idea. <laughs> right. <laughs> we are not in recruitment phase. Right. Yeah, uh, see, this... there's, there's always, there's always four, so it's kind of, <laughs> but we really appreciate, we really appreciate, you know, you thank you making... for your interest yeah and well <laughs> well, well add you to the talent pool <laughs> well and 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 i mean come on guys they did they did make friends with the elemental and yeah, they no, did no, no. we kind of couldn't we kind of couldn't have done this without them yeah so, and i mean we stay out of trouble and you can but if what? you see anything odd call us yeah let you let us know. us know you don't you don't do it we we do it <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this well, is like, also Molly is also the person who probably endangers our identities the most. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. oh no! It's like they, they don't they don't know when to tell us about the odd things. Like, <laughs> oh, they no. are the <laughs> they are now is not the time. Exactly. Are they like? Um, Go ahead. No, no, I was gonna say also like they, they like write us notes and like send us send us notes in class and they get caught by the teacher and the teacher's like, okay, we're gonna read this note out loud to the class. And it's just like, and, oh no. And the note's like, saw a mermaid in the fountain outside. Thought you should know. <laughs> it's like 
Yeah, so luckily the teacher doesn't, like, believe it, because it sounds nonsense to an adult, <laughs> but, like, we know what's going on. That's perfect. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. I, I like okay. the idea that oh, it's I... not as sad as it could be, because technically the, the Rock family's reunited, right? Mm-hmm. Like, maybe the yeah. baby was, yeah. you know, the baby was lost from the mama. Now like, we were mm-hmm. looking for, like, the mama was off, like, destroying things because she was angry because she was separate from her baby, and yes. we're like, where is yes. this? Perfect. And this person had, Molly had the baby, like, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Molly's like, this is my friend. <laughs> and we're like, ah! <laughs> Like, first off, we have to be, what is that? We can't let them know that we know what that is. All right. <laughs> yeah. What? Also, as, as a funny thing, as a funny, we can say no to this, but I just thought of the funny thing. It's because, the, because our teacher reads these notes aloud, all the kids in our class are aware that something is up because kids believe other kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The adults, on the other hand, don't believe a single word of it. Yeah. Like, so it's we're like, the kids, we're the kids, we're the kids call. <laughs> So yeah, we have to like the the fountain is completely surrounded by people after school. Like, where is this mermaid? And we're like, we can't get the mermaid with all these people around. How yeah. Do do this? yeah, I love it. It's perfect. I also I kind of like the idea that like not everyone can see this stuff. So maybe they're at yeah. they're at the right fountain. They're looking. They know there's something in there. Yeah. They're looking for it, but they can't see it. They can't so see it. Mm-hmm. yeah, Molly is special. Molly can sometimes see stuff. Mm-hmm. She's force sensitive. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Perfect. I'm 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 happy with that. I'm I'm zero to one hundred. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. I'm I'm the panicked child. Ah, <laughs> I love it. So good. All right. Let's see. Oh, why is that? Oh yeah, sorry. That's not. Yeah, that's gotta go away. That's that's the end game card. Do 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 do. Far too gonna, soon for blah, that. Blah, blah, put that away. <laughs> <laughs> no one saw that card. Yeah, no, it's fine. Know it's We're not ready to end the game. Ten no. of cups. That's the only one of the only problems with this is that you can't quite place it. Yeah. You go. Like, it's family day at school today. <laughs> How did you turn a disappointment into a triumph? How did oh. the other keepers help you? This is so on brand for Lila. <laughs> I know. I was gonna say this is very on brand for Lila. Absolute mess. It's parent teacher night. Yeah. So it's fan. So I think that. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I think that. Oh, okay. So. As part of family day at school, they've set up like a bunch of different stuff, like showcasing work that all of the students have been doing. And there's an art, like a little art gallery set up with like all of the different art that the kids have done. And Lila made, and art's the one thing that Lila's like pretty good at. Like she's good at Mm -hmm. the arts. She's not good at like the booky stuff. Um, But she made this like, beautiful like um like pot for like some flowers and when she was like going to like set everything up like before the parent before like all the family was were arriving she tripped and dropped her pot and oh, it no. broke no. broke her pot that she made um and just like obviously just like big anime tears and all of the other keepers just were like, no, no, we can fix it. We can fix it. And we like glued it all back together and like touched up like all of like the cracks and stuff so that it looked not as good as new, but intentional. yes, looked like it was on purpose that it's all like these different things. Um, you painted them gold. Exactly. Yeah. Like that kind of thing, like painted yeah. them all so that it looked like this is how it was supposed to be all along. Um, and we fixed it and got it like set up in the art gallery before all of the parents arrived. I like yeah. that. Yeah, like this actually shows, you know, your imperfections mm-hmm. are what make yep. you beautiful. Yeah, there's a form of art that does that. I forget what it's uh, called. Yeah. Kintsugi. Uh, Kin- Kintsugi. Yeah. Which yeah. is like, look, he made this beautiful thing. It was... It's a little broken, yeah. but it's beautiful. Yeah, it's all the more beautiful for it. Yep. Um, yeah. I like the idea that maybe some of us also were like doing a distract 
<laughs> like 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 your thing was due uh, like sooner and it was like ah like yeah. oh no like, look go over. look at all go, go look at this stuff for like 20 just like minutes. frantically trying to like glue it back together just like ah. yeah just still yeah just giant anime tears like gluing this pot <laughs> back together it's not working it's, it's like, working i wanted fully. my dad to see this and i broke it it's okay it's, it's still fun. it's Lila, it's still so pretty. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> it's more pretty because you put more effort into it. Babe. Yeah. D don't be cry. <laughs> don't be cry. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Am I up or? Yep. Okay. Yes. Yes. Bag that one. Up this one. Ooh, Queen of Wands! Ooh. Ooh. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we have any of you got I don't any, think we had any wands yet. Any, no, no, wands. no. Oh, interesting. Oh no! One of the keepers has always inspired you. Why haven't you told them this and how does this how does inspiration change you? Um so I'm gonna ask the group, which one of you who who is most confident at being a magical girl? Oh, would you look over there's oh! something over here maybe it's um, me but also maybe maybe my mom was a keeper or maybe you know a former keeper can or... i use your mom i'll use your mom if i have because like, i'd like because those are like not confident in being a keeper like yeah i, I don't see why not i'm looking at it and like i yeah, it just say... says a keeper yeah it's yeah. a keeper um, yeah, no. So we're gonna go with your mom. Your mom, your mom is like this beacon of shining hope. And yeah. And I, like it's a two part thing. One, your mom is really, really good at her job. Like, yeah. Really, really good at her job. Secondly, not to be depressing, but your mom is alive. <laughs> your mom survived being a keeper, which means she's oh, okay. even better at her job. Yeah. <laughs> Got I it. like that. I like that moment. <laughs> Well, okay, to be fair, maybe the one of the other keepers yeah. is now the Oracle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it, it like, your mom is part of your life. Like you see, like you go home from school and your mom is there. Yeah. But she checks your homework. Your mom is part of your life. Like she's not and not that my not that not that Zelda's mom is absent to me, but like my mom's not a keeper. My mom has no idea like what I'm up to and what I'm doing. Yeah. And like it's a giant burden of a secret that I keep from my own mother. And so it's like not drowning me, but like it's hard. It's hard being like, we're going over to Yuki's house to do homework. Oh, <laughs> 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 <It's laughs> <in unison. laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was very good. <laughs> that was that was peak magical girl. I love it. Oh, we're getting told to hydrate. Yeah, I gotta hydrate. Oh. It's a good reminder. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, so I, yeah, so uh, my mom. Have you have um, you ever I, like had a moment where you like sat down and had like a one on one talk never. with my mom? Nope, nope, oh. not even a little bit. I, I, she's I super make, intimidating. Yeah, your mom is scary. Like, like she's very nice, but very scary. Like the yeah. idea of talking to your mom literally sends me like I'll I like I'm I'm the friend that your mom goes. Why do you have that weird friend that never says anything to me? <laughs> Like why does it never so said talk? <laughs> like just say, like I am I am has, has, has everyone seen um 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 uh, My Hero Academia? I have not. Seen I've seen like the okay. first like three episodes and I, I can not recognize the you only seen the first episode. You only have seen the first episode. So in the first episode, when Midoriya meets All Might, that first like oh, yeah. Crying, yeah. that okay. me around your mom. <laughs> it's like wide eyed like. Oh, yeah. freeze like you're at, and it's funny because you're actually like so smart and when you get going on like like bookie yes. topics you're it's like great I'm, I'm, it's fine mm -hmm. it's just like the idea is but like the second like i notice your mom is in the same room with me i like stop <laughs> like my entire brain just like and the, the hamster has stopped running blue hit blue screen zelda.exe <laughs> has stopped running exactly exactly um but how does this inspiration? I I like to think so. Harkening back to my previous card, 
that was like, how did I change and get a weapon? And then the, I got this, I got my giant pole arm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think that I had a moment where like your mom said, hey, you did a good job like the night before. Like your mom said something confident, like something inspiring to me. Like a passing like little comment <laughs> of like inspiration that like just stuck with me. And I was just like, it's like, oh, you're doing a great job. And you're like, I'm doing a I, I'm, I'm doing a great job. Like I'm I'm doing a great job. <laughs> like the, those like those like simple little words have inspired me to like to inspire me the next day to like not run away <laughs> and to do oh. something. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, amazing! Yes, I love it. So good. That's so good. I love it so much. This makes me even more intimidated by my mom. Sorry. Well, no, your mom is a wonderful person. Your mom yeah. is a wonderful, yeah. lovely person. It's just a lot to live up to, though. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. The weight of expectations she's not even is my very mom. She's not even my mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. That's Next. it? We're good? Mm -hmm. I think so. Those are questions. Questions, questions, comments, concerns. No, I think you painted yeah, a pretty think, clear picture. Yeah, that's a good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boop. 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 Eight of cups. Lots of cups. Aww. Oh no! That's uh, someone important to you has to move away. How does a creature and your magic help you deal with this? You have older siblings? Pardon me? You have older siblings? Oh, I like that. I never thought of that. Hmm. Going off to college or yeah, something? Yeah, I have like... Oh, retired. They're, they, they, they weren't a keeper. So yeah. like they've gone on to do like non-keeper things. Yeah. Yeah. I think like maybe I have like a, a, a decently older brother. Oh, and nice. uh, while he like... You know, he knows of the whole keeper lore because mom, mm -hmm. but like he knew he was probably never really going to do it. Um, so he's finally like he waited until like I became a keeper. And then mm -hmm. he was like, oh, dang, this confirms I don't get to do it. Right. Like, um, and <laughs> that kind of sucks. I feel a little bit bad for my brother now. <laughs> I'm going to go to pharmacy school now, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> but no, but it, yeah, it lets him go like off in search of a different dream like it's almost kind of freeing in a way at the same time you know what i mean he was mm -hmm. he was always kind of like holding his breath for it he had like you know he had taken like that break um even though there's something like he really wanted to do I'm trying to think of what it is <laughs> he wanted equestrian oh gosh no okay oh, gosh <laughs> he's, a ho he's a horse boy Oh, oh no. He's in a band. <laughs> um, he plays the bass. Okay, mom's in fashion. Yeah. So, brother, maybe like engineering or something. Maybe I like. I was going to say architect. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Architect. Ooh, maybe architect some kind of. Nice. Yeah, like maybe he, he like he learned. He builds houses that monsters don't destroy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to say, maybe he took from mom's, like, you know, doing like fashion design but make it match but make it yeah. but make, make it buildings but make it build that's what I was gonna say. take fashion design make it buildings <laughs> oh, I was gonna say cause mom takes fashion and then is like fashion but make it indestructible <laughs> and he took yeah. that and he was like okay buildings but make it indestructible <laughs> so he took that he got that from mom um and so he's actually like so creative and so smart and he's not gotten to pursue this before and so he's finally getting to pursue this and um ooh, i'm trying to think of like uh how does it sound right maybe uh maybe Maybe the family still had like a card or something like that. You know what I mean? In their possession when all the other ones like escaped. There's like this family heirloom card that like doesn't leave until there's new keepers that have to take it and stuff like that. And maybe it's something like clay or something. And he mm -hmm. like it would work with him. And like he also had that bond like with a card and it was like this one. And so it literally um 
you know, as he's leaving, he takes the time to, like, stay with me and stay with the clay card, and we, like, literally have, like, a little room where, like, we just, we spend the whole rest of the day just, like, making, like, these, um, this amazing, like, little clay city. Oh, so good. <laughs> Aww. You know what I mean? And, like, making it, like... And he's, you know, he's like, I've got some really good ideas. I think I think I can really, like, do something with this. And I'm like, I know, I know, but I'm going to miss you when mm-hmm. you leave. And, and you know, then the, the, the little clay card just, like, comes up and goes, like, tap, tap. You know, like, it just does a, like, <laughs> deep, deep, <laughs> like... Um, <laughs> cause that's all, that's all I think it can communicate with is no. kind of motions. It can build buildings. It does not talk. It does not, it does not talk. It can it, make a thumbs up and it can make a thumbs down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good building, bad building. Yeah, it can do some stuff like that. So yeah, but he like, you know, he stands in the middle of the room all confident and he's like, no, no, those towers can't go there. They're going to have to go over here. <laughs> and so like, yeah, that's into the, the clay card. Helps me say goodbye, say goodbye to my brother. I think that's Kinda. so cute. I like it. I love it. Adorable. <laughs> love it. That inspiring music at the end is as you take the clay mm. card and, and walk off to something else, and then like the screen cuts to him putting buildings together and like smiling, and it's that sunset yeah. lighting, and then it mm. freezes, and it's oh yeah, and then it all goes it. to like that like weird like crystal filter. Yeah. <laughs> It's all sparkly. I love it. It's perfect. Credits. Credits. (laughs) All right. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's do this. Ooh, fun. Okay. Three of Cups. Mm. So. Interesting. Yes, you have a fond memory of one of the other keepers. How has this memory given you strength and wisdom? Hmm. I think, let's see, who would it be? And it's not, it's not your mom this time. <laughs> it's always your mom. It's it always can't your mom. Always, it can't always be my mom. <laughs> She's the only she's our only trustworthy adult. Yeah. Yeah. You always have to have one. You have to have one mundane one. friend. You have to have one a trustworthy adult. Like those are mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, a fond memory of one of the other keepers. I think um I was the last of us to become a keeper. Mm-hmm. Um because I think I think maybe I was like Molly I was like card sensitive and um I kind of went I might have gotten into trouble with um with it you know it was a water elemental it's a water elemental that uh decided to have a little fun in the pool Yep. while I was there <laughs> and um instead of being like afraid I was like this is so much nonsense I can't believe this is happening to me <laughs> what even are you and why are you doing it please stop time for this. <laughs> like, this, is not, this is my swimming time this is my swim lesson time <laughs> I have, a, I have a question. So are you are you the athlete in the group, kind of? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and, I think I am. You, are you also the, like, I'm done with this shit? <laughs> like... Yeah, like, like <laughs> zero, zero to 100 goes always. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think by default of being the athlete, I am also the tallest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, which makes me, like, four foot nine in... In, in anime terms, <laughs> which makes yourself <laughs> taller than I am. <laughs> like, you, like you got your growth spurt over the last summer, and the rest mm-hmm. of us are still very small, right? Um, so you three came to capture the water elemental in the pool, and um, 
like do we know why do we know what it is that makes us keepers is it just like having oh no 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 it was um you three were being overwhelmed but we're gonna sailor moon this you three were being overwhelmed Mm -hmm. by the water elemental and then it was like i'm so done with this and then my powers manifested (laughs) oh so good yeah we have to get no we have to get our first transformation sequence we have to get yes 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 yes, yes. what's your magic look like oh my goodness i hadn't thought about it uh so i think probably inspired a little bit by the water like the water elemental was hounding all of us and there was probably some sort of like magical water bubble strength ma- magical water bubble stuff surrounding us all and you three were a little bit better off because you probably captured some air elementals already so you had the endurance of being able to breathe a little bit longer and um i think from within the water bubble you see this like bright like kind of tealish light and the bubble like breaks into all of these like little like globules of water that are all over the place and then um let's see what kind of costume do i want (laughs) i i haven't thought about it um okay i know what kind of costume i want so um you see like all of this light kind of coalesce into like this like long hooded kind of cloak sort of thing like it's like a it's like a like a waistcoat with a tail um and then oh. i've got a hood up and then i get the fingerless the, the long fingerless gloves mm. the long fingerless gloves one glove at a time and then um i'm wearing like like bike shorts almost so they're like, they're like um, yeah so it's like they come they come to about halfway down the thigh and then i've got like high boots because kids need high boots for some reason <laughs> like um revolutionary girl yes Utina. yes yes absolutely um and then like all of the water kind of like coalesces it begins to like swirl around me and then it like falls into the pool and i don't fall in the pool because you never fall into the you never you always land on your feet during your transformation. Mm-hmm. So I land on the outside of the pool. <laughs> and you three were like, holy crap. And I was nice. like, right? And I was like, holy crap. But also and, we're in uh, water, so we're like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think the, the force of my transformation also broke your water bubbles. Oh, I love that. They just like so, burst, like <laughs> pop. Oh, so you so come up good. out of the water and you're like, holy crap. And then I'm like, holy crap and then we <laughs> then we capture the water elemental and um i am also understandably no nonsense about this i don't have time to be a magical girl i have track tryouts and a swim meet tomorrow night and um, i will break out my planner <laughs> I'm not even, like i'm not even kidding like zelda will like out of like her dimensional pocket one of she has <laughs> and has a schedule and it'll be like look i will make you a new schedule where you can time out how much time it takes you to do these things we will have you we will have it perfect yes like, no you're one of us this is amazing right like, <laughs> and no, i no, think we will make this well, i was just like just yeah like, that here. and i think the fact that the the tall girl is always the outcast so I think being accepted so quickly by the three of you was like yes this is awesome this is what it's like to have a group not just a not just a a track team or a swim team but to have like a group that we do things outside of school and also capture elementals what the heck y'all you have to tell me (laughs) everything (laughs) yeah we're like like you try to nope out for that second and then zelda's like i got you schedule and then like uh lila is like there with all the heart and the support and like oh you're just perfect big sparkle so, eyes. yeah like the big like looking up at you because you're so like beautiful and tall and she's just like like and then yuki's just like mm, you have to come meet my mom you have to meet my mom, <laughs> you have to meet my mom. <laughs> It was just like I, 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 it was. It was probably like your mom could probably make you another one of these. Like my mom could probably make you another one of these because I honestly like she probably think that the outfit was really cool, and the promise of more clothes. 
yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just like you have to meet my mom. <laughs> you have to meet. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's so kind good. of tradition. Everyone has to come <laughs> meet my mom. <laughs> story, but we have time. Right. I promise. It's worth. It's worth. It's totally worth it. Also, I like to think that once you become a keeper, you're not allowed to nope out of it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're it's absolutely like, not. Like, no. Yuki gets on her phone and just like, Mom, can you order some pizzas? We're bringing somebody over. Yeah. yeah. Like, like it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's not like one of those things. It's not like you can't quit. Like, because obviously you retire. But also, from the ages of like 11 to 14, mm-hmm. they, it's just that's the deal that you've made. Mm-hmm. And it's like by the time you're 14, it's just like, well, this is just what I do now. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like high the idea because be you brief. mentioned. Sorry, go ahead. Oh. No, it's like high school will be a breeze after this. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that rather than retiring, it's because like this happens fairly re- like like the cards get out or something happens or there's a problem. You know what I mean? And like this happens every decade or two or something like that yeah. and so that's why there's always like but you do know that at some point you know as long as you don't accidentally become the oracle or anything right <laughs> <laughs> um yeah oh my gosh i love this so much i'm so, so yeah it was it was the 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 strength it was it was it was like a a a strength that um a different type of strength because obviously i am at i am the athletic one i am the I am the, the the athlete, but it was like a a, a soft kind of strength mm-hmm. because also being the tall one, being the outcast, like everybody's like amazing, wonderful, but also cold shoulder. And I'm like, but I can be soft too. Yeah. I have feelings. Wait, tall people have feelings? <laughs> yeah, right? We just can't see them from down here. Yeah, I know. So- <laughs> we can't. <laughs> Think How t- are the emotions up there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think that was the end of the round. Yeah. Yeah. So uh with that said, we're gonna take a little break. Y'all should too. Um, if you haven't in a little bit, make sure you do a stretch. Don't forget to hydrate. Um mm-hmm. perfect. <laughs> Thank you, redeemed. It's time to stretch, everyone. That goes for you too, chat. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get up, refill our drinks, take a little stretch. We'll be back here in like ten minutes to continue this adventure. Thank you all so much for for hanging out. It's so good. I'm it's so glad. So uh, this is so a good. lot of fun. I'm, in, I'm 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 deeply enjoying myself. <laughs> I also feel like something horrible is gonna happen soon. Yeah. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. Perfect. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> okay. You take care of you. We'll be back in a few. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. See you soon. Hear me. Hi everyone, we're back. Um, I hope you had a good break. I know we did. Um, thank you all for being here. Uh, I know we we were all shouting it out. Everyone was shouting love for Jammy in chat. This game is by Jammy. If you don't already know them, go and check out. If you put exclamation point keepers in the chat you can find this game and then go and look at all their others because they're all amazing uh please do go check them out um also i'm just i want to shout out and thank uh roll 20 who gave us this tarot deck so that we could play this game and uh if you see the links i put in chat um you can see where you can pick up this deck yourself and also the artist who made it um so thank you roll 20 for sharing this with us so that we could play this game together all together and share so this fun. deck. It's so good. I love this game. Um, so Megan, it's your turn. It's my turn. All right. Oh look, I drew Jammy, the Queen of Swords. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see is what we got. F- is this our first swords card? We, we had done one. One other. Swords I think that was yeah. Ka's weapon. Yes. Yeah, I think that's my yeah. card. It was the Ace okay. of Swords. Ooh. One of the keepers has always offered a truth about yourself that you refused to accept. What finally changed your mind? Ooh. Interesting. Very interesting. 
Hmm. Ooh, okay. So I think that, so it's established that Lila's a bit of a disaster. <laughs> um, she's a fairly competent magical girl and a total disaster regular girl. Um, <laughs> and I think because of that, she's always like, kind of like doubted whether or not she should be a keeper. Cause she's like, I'm not cut out for this. Like I can't really do anything. And I think that Vera being like, no nonsense, like, this is what's up, was always like, no, like, there's a reason why you're here. There's a reason why, like, you were chosen to do this, like, get it together. You have it in you, like, figure it out, <laughs> like, in a, in a loving, but also like, tough love, cut the crap, tough get love, your yeah. shit together. You can do this type of way. Um, and I think that when we were all trying to capture an elemental, that there was this moment where the three, the other three of you were incapacitated Ooh. and I was just like, I can't do this. I can't do this. Like, I can't do this. And she remembered like all these times where Vera was like, no, like you have it in you. You just need to like figure it out and yeah. it just like when Vera's like powers manifested like she just like dug deep and was like no all right like calm down you can do this and manage to subdue and capture the elemental all on your own nice. yeah it was like holy crap <laughs> you believed it. in you before you believed in yourself yeah yeah good friends <laughs> yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't have been put in this role if you weren't meant to do it you're right exactly great. you're yeah. an awesome keeper it's like Perfect. oh okay <laughs> <laughs> which one is that that was queen of swords that was queen of swords yes. okay. yes. oh so yeah like i feel more confident in my abilities yeah. and that like i'm supposed to be here yeah i have a question actually really quick do you yeah. does that does that translate from your magical life out to your regular life too i think it starts to like you start to like and i think it's something that like you three notice mm. mm -hmm. and then it's like a slow progression like like she's still very much a disaster <laughs> But like she's really trying her best. She's just there's, slightly less of a disaster. Right. Now. Like there's less there's less giant anime tears and more just like, it's okay, we'll get him next time <laughs> type type of stuff. She it's like less of like a crybaby disaster and more just like, I'm just trying my best. Like not everything's gonna go my way, but I'm gonna try to make it work. Her like type this. of thing. Yeah. I love it. No further questions. <laughs> no questions. <And> <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm going to pull this card out. I'm going to flip it over. Yeah, you are. Oh, for our swords. Oh, dang. Stand with the swords. This creature is putting everyone to sleep. How do you learn to walk through dreams? What does their subconscious reveal to you? This Ooh, sounds like a card are... with a sequence in it, <gasps> right? It does. No. <laughs> okay. So I'm I'm gonna, I'm going to make the assumption that this card has put everyone to sleep except for me. I am the I am the sole I'm the sole person awake in this town. Um, so I get to do my magical sequence. Like it's, I I'd like to think I didn't realize anything was weird until I get to school and no one's there. And at first, I think it's a dream. At first, I think it's one of those. I woke. I, I look down and make sure I'm not naked or something like that. Yeah. Like, make sure this isn't a dream. And it's like, no, everyone's asleep. And I like go home and like everyone's just everyone's just asleep. And then I realize, oh, this is magical. Like, this is a, this is a magical thing that's happening. Um, and then I need to like find this thing. So I guess I do like transformation. Like my transformation sequence today is like low key because it's not like in combat, but like it's 
it's my it's like you get the full the full 30 second transformation this time as opposed to like the, the, the quick five second one um and so um it, like i transform i transform between one step and the next like there's like a weird pause but like it's like i'm walking through a door and my outfit changes from one second to the next um and because at this point i i'm like to, i would like to believe I, ha I have my weapon at this point um it's like a spinning uh i i wear i like um has, has you seen madoka has anyone seen madoka i haven't okay no, it's, um, it's on my list i was gonna say i, I know of it but i haven't had a chance to watch yeah. it like, I, was, I was forced to watch it semi recently so it's in my head but she does this thing where she's like running and like it's like a step like a hop step and a jump and then she's like poofing into it into a into a puffy skirt so like i have like the giant poofy like uh petticoat skirt with like the regular like skirt overneath it or whatever um i'm gonna pretend that it's purple because i have to maintain my brand um purple is best color purple is best, best color. color purple is best color <laughs> and so i have like this white like white underskirt or purple top skirt and like these like short little like I you would they, they click clack like heels but they're flat shoes okay they're flat round toed like little like uh, ballet flat but they click clack like 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 uh, heels kind of like um, Mary Jane's yeah yeah um like like appropriate age appropriate shoes for <laughs> for a twelve year old by <laughs> fighting crime not fighting crime fighting magical monster <laughs> um and. Like my hair does the like swingy curl, like poof into like a, a poof pineapple thing, um, to get up out, get get it up out of my way, and so it doesn't get I caught snagged in thing, um, and then like my glaive, like I pull it out of my pocket, but like instead of pulling out the tiny keychain version of it, I pull out, like like I like a never ending full size version of it pulled out of my pocket because I definitely have pockets, uh, because everyone needs pockets uh and then i'm transformed i'm literally i'm in my poofy skirt with like my i'm i'm gonna say that it's like a uh uh 50s vintage ultra top type top it goes on top of it they tie it at the back of your neck to keep it up and out of the way um but it's like it's a button not a tie because ties are dangerous ties can get untied buttons and like zippers are good um but my, your mom is gonna a very practical outfit yet yuki it's, it's very positive but it's very like um and and i'm transformed so now that i've transformed i have to go find this thing that's sleeping <laughs> that's causing everyone to go to sleep um let's see i learned to walk through dream how do i learn to walk through dream well because i in the way gift some certain gifted children as i gift a child myself ha, are under a lot of stress we don't sleep well <laughs> um so it's weird that everyone sleeps for me. Like it's, it's like dream, dreams are weird things. Like I'm one of those people who like goes, not me. Zelda's one of those people who like goes from being awake to being asleep and nothing in between. Um, so that's why when she woke up originally and saw everything was a dream, she's like, this is weird. That's how she realizes that something is weird. And because this feels like she should be awake, but she's not, but it's really a dream. Um, and this is the first, like, her ability to walk through dreams is sort of like, like someone's ability to swim. Like, some people are just good at swimming. It's just like, there's like little effort to toddlers learning to swim because they just like, wee, wee, wee. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I don't necessarily learn to walk through dreams. I learn to know what it's like to be dreaming. Like, the idea of of things happening while your eyes are closed or it's like a new experience for me of discerning reality from uh uh from the like, reality from the dream state is it almost like a magical girl lucid dreaming control yeah kind of like where you're like you're aware that you're dreaming but like you're not like you you can't control it like you you i I, I, I lack the ability to just do it on command, but once it's happening, I'm like, okay, we're dreaming. We're we're in this, we're in this state of not being awake. Um and how do I what does my subconscious reveal to me? That I'm stressed. That 
Based on what you said, mm -hmm. are you the Amy? <laughs> <laughs> like, so. like, like, not the Amy best the fighter, but yeah. so smart they That's couldn't cool. do it without her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Very literally tactical. The, like, yeah, I like, like. I'm like, I would like to pretend that I'm like Amy meets Ataru, like the quiet, introverted mm. one, but like. I'm smart. I'm I like I'm confident in what I know, but I'm unconfident in everything else. And like I know which I'm a magical valid. girl. I, I I which I know I'm a magic like I know, like I know in my heart I'm a magical girl. Like I wouldn't have been called for no other reason if I wasn't good enough, but I don't think I'm good enough. Like I don't I I not I lack the confidence. Like the, the, the day your mom Yuki's mom told me you did a good job, like I, 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 she said it, and I, I believe her because she wouldn't lie to me. But like, I like, show me the paperwork, <laughs> give me the A, give me the A plus on the test, like prove it oh, to me. Yeah. Like, validate my, my existence. <laughs> <laughs> validate my existence, and or, like, it would be a test. Like that, that, that Zelda. Zelda needs to, like, cause I, I, like when I was saying earlier how she runs from fights. She's not. She's not. She's not confident in her ability to fight things, but she'll do it when the when the, when the time comes. But like, it's not the first instinct that she has. The first instinct that she has is, and we're going. Like, mm -hmm. do, does Zelda sometimes try and think of other ways to resolve the situations we're in? Like, she's the first one to be like, "Wait, hang on, we immediately came in and did punches again." Do we want to not punch first? Yes, yes. Like, have we tried, have we tried debating them into, ex into agreeing with the rules of the universe? Like, I'm sorry, what? Have, have, we, tried, have we tried to debate them into agreeing to the, the rules of the universe right. and not doing bad things? Have we tried asking them, hey, please, Mr. Elemental, have you considered doing this instead of that? Like, because obviously the elemental is the thing, but I like to, I, I'd like to think based on the, the rock puppy elemental that we met and the clay elemental that your brother had, they're not all necessarily bad. They're just doing what they are meant to be doing. Yeah. Do, which may not necessarily be what... They may not be doing their best task where they currently are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, like, just having, like, those natural things in, like... I assume we're in an urban, like, metropolitan type situation which suddenly if a, a an, uh you know a water or a clay or a sand elemental is like there's not enough just raw sand here i'm gonna mm -hmm. take out all this stuff yeah not, not the best like it's not that you're bad it's not that you're doing something wrong it's that you're doing it in the wrong place mm -hmm. so yeah zelda would be the one be like maybe we should try not hitting it and maybe we should try Words, words, <laughs> feelings, and working through our problems through a nonviolent solution. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. 
But I also have a giant pole on that I'm not afraid to hit you with and come back to it. Well, that's plan B. Right. Like, that's, 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 maybe, maybe D? But, like, it, it, it is definitely a valid option and a plan that Zelda is not yeah. afraid to use. I'm like, well, it's not just a backup plan. Yeah. Like, yeah, Good. Huh. Like, with a Taru, technically speaking, she can end the entire universe. Not plan A, definitely not plan B. It's like plan C. Like, it's, like the option's on the table. <laughs> there, if it comes down to that. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I was I wasn't sure if you said the same thing, Megan, but I was gonna say like I love the idea that like maybe Zelda's weapon is nicknamed the backup plan or something yes. like that. Yeah, literally <laughs> like <laughs> if not by glass. Zelda, by the rest of us. Yeah, the rest of the party is like You're like, mm-hmm. Zelda, get the backup plan. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Good choice. Good. Sorry, I'm looking at my cats. No, that's totally fair. I don't know if y'all heard one of my cats decided to sing a song real loud for a bit there. Oh, I Just did what, hear that. The, the like I heard boy the start of it. Man. That was one of my. That, that's the, the the young boy, the little the little man, not the They're old man. Boys. The old man sounds like a walrus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have two very distinct sounds. But yeah, that's why I was muted for most of the time. He was singing the song of his people. Oh, um, <laughs> they're good boys. They're very good boys. Um, okay. Any other questions? Good. good. I asked my question. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm good. That was great. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah. Okay. What? We have coins. Ooh, back to the coins. Oh, interesting. Oh, no. Oh, no. I love this. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is your class is setting up a stage for a play for the school festival. How does a creature mess things up and how do things work out? And I love, yeah, I love this for Yuki because like Yuki is like, you know, oh man, mom is so good at like organizing and doing things and everyone listens. This is my first chance to really like, you know, show I can like do a thing too. Like, oh Oh, no. Yeah, like, Everything's gonna be like perfect, and I think like Yuki puts like so much like love and energy into like making sure this this school play goes off so well. Like the decorations, like she definitely pitched in some of her family's own money to to spiff oh. things up extra and make everything like so like you know anything where like the school had had it for more than like twenty years. Yuki was like, mm, time to replace this thing and like <laughs> um, upgraded it and that sort of thing. Um. How does a creature mess things up? Maybe one of the... Try to think. Are things are... Earth, sky, yeah. and... You know, say our wind water. could... I have a thing. Oh. Well, oh, yeah. they, and they also move, like, really fast. So things keep disappearing. Like, we keep, like, setting things up on the stage, and we keep getting everyone ready, and we're like, why aren't you, why aren't you in place with your costume and, like, your thing? And they're like, it's gone, it's just gone. Well, how did you lose it? You had to, like, all you had to do was, like, take care of that hat, and, like, it's just gone. Like, it's just, it disappeared. And so all these items are slowly, like, going missing, going missing, um, and then eventually, like, the stage starts, like, tipping, and like oh. stuff starts oh, no. like creaking and like we eventually like go under and one of the elementals is making a nest of stuff it's stolen. Oh no, it's a raccoon! It's like, it's a, like, horde. It's it's a little like, horde. It's making a little it's making a little horde of stuff it's stolen oh. from the play. And we're like, and it's so small and it's so like we're like, where are you? Like it's like you know, we hear like a chittering, like like this is a cute little noise. And then we see this like teeny thing come out, and then it like does that thing where it's like blah. Like, it's not so bad. It's really small. Yeah, you're like, oh, it's so and then, like it's so jump. small. <laughs> and, and then we see its teeth. Yeah. Yeah. And then and it's you, just teeth. It's the just cute teeth. little cartoon cat, and then it's just like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh my god, it does that. It makes that face, and the face is so it's all mouth. Like, it's, it's just straight all up mouth. and down, like, and it makes that, yeah. it makes that ching sound. Yeah, 
and we're like, nope, 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 yeah. yeah so cute will hurt <laughs> <laughs> yeah more um, mittens yeah so so how do we deal with this um well first you transform <gasps> yes you have to transform that's okay okay so i was thinking about this and like yuki's transformation i think is actually kind of like solemn like i think yuki literally starts in almost like a, a meditative position like kind of like down and there's almost like this um you know blessing of my ancestors be with me type thing and oh, there's like it. yeah and there's like you know drums in the background just that like slow like the drums and just it's white it's like you know white um blossom petals falling Ooh. from the tree and there's like that dun, 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 of like the drums um, and then Yuki just kind of like looks up and then her eyes glow and then like the, the, the transformation starts, uh, to happen. And I think, um, you know, kind of from, from this kneeling position kind of gets, uh, sent up in this, this wave of life and the drums reach like a p a pinnacle, like reach like a peak, uh, and, uh, you know, hair gets sent back um pristine like white like probably somewhere in between like a school uniform and a suit like kind of um okay. you know what i mean with like uh, a strong collar and okay. um a mid-length skirt with like pleats um and uh <laughs> And just like all business, the uh, the nails go. There's like a tick 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 of the yes. nails as like the oh. hands the hands go out. <laughs> Getting your nails done when you transform is probably such a a bonus, really? such a boon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just so beautifully extra. Yeah, <laughs> and then um, you know, I think I think Yuki ends up in like a ready for ready to go stance and um. Gosh, how does this how does this go down? Uh do we can we convince Chompy Teeth Monster to let us have our stuff back? Hey Chomper. Um <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen that raccoon video? Can you like trade? Can you offer it a trade? Oh, that's interesting. Cause I don't want to fight it. I think you know, we start off with like very mild, not actually harmful fighting. Just mm -hmm. like almost like defensive even, because it's just coming at us like Meh. like not <laughs> viciously but just like reflexively defensively we just bought we poked its nest uh it's not happy um and so i think we have to do some like defending Ooh, i like that like maybe bra like metal bracelets like that have to do like ta -ta -ta, like to um defense and um <laughs> i have Wait, such a what did you hear that no what happened? Is it your cat? No! Nothing! Like, okay. okay. Nothing. Um, okay. It's okay, no, you're totally fine. I'm just having this thing where I, just as a person, can't help but do everything comedically, but poor, I want Yuki to be serious, but I'm a goof and I can't not do everything goofy, so I just am imagining, you know, we start all serious and we're like fighting and we're, we have to save the school from this monster. And then it ends up literally just, like I said, I, I have these like big metal bracers and it literally does this thing where it, like, you know, it chomps on and it's just like hanging there. Just like, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a goof. I can't not Perfect. do silly And then things. like the music changes. Yeah, and, and we're like, like mm -hmm. it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, you try and it. we all just sit and like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. is it, here's my I have a question for you okay it's not, it's not, it's not a question for yuki you it's a question for yuki the yeah. monster that we're fighting okay is it a pregnant mother nesting oh i hadn't thought of that but maybe and so that's why like it it's not mean it's just defending you know what i mean yeah, and it just had this defensive and it had this natural instinct to like build a nest and take everything it needed, which is all the school stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I think this definitely has to have some sort of a happy ending where like, you know. We rehome it. Yeah. We rehome yeah. it for sure. We rehome it. Yeah. Okay. So we find it like, um, 
we let it have we let it have all the old school supplies right we're like you can have all the old stuff and like we make it a oh. new nest somewhere else what if like your mom is like i'll provide new costumes for the play and then we like it can have all the old costumes yeah it can have all the old stuff um, I almost wanted to think of a way to, like, put it into the school play, but I can't. <laughs> it's a bear! No, we're doing, what's the Shakespeare play, Exit Pursued by a Bear? <laughs> Exit Pursued <gasps> by We get a bear Park. costume! Yeah. Winter's Tale. Yeah. yeah. No, we, 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 we dress it up as a bear. Yeah. And we let it do that. Yeah. We let it, like, it, yeah, it, oh my goodness, it actually... Oh, all this was happening right <gasps> as the play was about to start, and then, like, literally, the, the the it's one of those things where, like, the play that goes off doesn't go off exactly as it was supposed to, but it's almost better, because, like, there's an actual monster, and we're like, ah, oh, monster, and it's just like, meh, 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 <laughs> trying to, like... <laughs> Nobody else knows that it's actually a monster. Yeah, no one actually <laughs> realizes <laughs> They think yeah. the play is amazing, because how did you get that thing so realistically? yeah. It's a puppet. Don't ask questions. Yeah. yeah. It's animatronics. They've come very far since Jurassic Park. <laughs> we spared no expense for this elementary school play. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, we end up not fighting it. We end up um, including it in our play and then figuring out what's wrong and then rehoming it. Um, and we let it um be comfortable for a little bit before i think we have to capture it later like and but once it's like together with its family so that it's <gasps> not separated from them what oh, no what this is the rock mom is it the rock mom i think it might be the rock mom <laughs> oh this is, we first so this is one of this is one of the first things that we've done yeah and, and then it grows up and gets out of control and it's like well this is kind of our fault. We should have captured it, and we oh. didn't. <laughs> so now we have to capture it, and also there's a rock puppy. <laughs> oh my gosh, so wait, is one of its rock puppies the ones that Molly finds? Yes. yes. Oh no! Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Because Molly's at school, so when she's giving birth and she's collecting all the things, one of the puppies Please. goes missing. This is yeah. like one of those episodes where it's like you've seen the episode as you think you saw it, and then there's the follow up episode from a different point of view mm -hmm. that fills in all of the gaps that happened yeah. during the other episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It all comes full circle. Because you have like, yeah, it's like Molly's perspective, and then you have like Yugi's perspective. <laughs> Clearly, we have 45 minute episodes. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Wait, it's fine. The audience loves it. Yeah. We pack a lot of action into 45 minutes. That's Was it. I Unless eat? anyone has any questions for me. Yep, I think no we're good. questions. Okay. It's minor. Do the thing. Draw the card. Put it there. Flip it. Oh, Ooh, we all have to say it out loud. loud. <laughs> Look at that mustache. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Look at that. Uh, King of Souls, what do you have to say to me? Ooh, I first <gasps> saw one of the other keepers as untrustworthy, but something changed. Ooh. How do you feel about them now? Why don't they trust you? Ooh. Um, um, you could always X the card if it doesn't fit with our narrative. Yeah, if yeah. You, I don't. I don't think it does. You I can think pull we, again. Yeah, I, I this we we came together pretty easily, pretty like not so much organically, but there was no discord mm -hmm. between us. Yeah, oh, we we're all, we're all trustworthy good people. <laughs> All right, so I'm Xing that card and then I'm flipping a new card, which is the Eight of Wands. And we haven't had too many wands no. cards. Ooh, uh, that's okay, it is. Going after this creature is a grand chase. You're tempted to let the creature get away. Why do you give in? What kind of creature? This is. This is creature, you a rock mom. 
<laughs> well, grand chase chase creature makes, over and over. A grand chase makes like, sense because one of the things is that they're like real, real fast. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a, it's an air elemental. Okay. Um, that is. Uh, what is it doing? It's doing something bad. <laughs> Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Okay, so my suggestion is your air elemental secretly a cat. It's a, it's a straight outdoor cat. So, ooh, I like cats it. Are, cats, cats decimate bird populations. <laughs> outdoor okay. cats are bad. Okay, okay. So it's an outdoor cat. Oh, that pretending to be, is, it's, it's pretending to be an outdoor cat. Right, right. It's pretending to be an outdoor cat that is absolutely wrecking. Like people are finding in, in our our. Are dead animals okay? Are we good? I think I think you can as long as we don't go into detail. You know course, what I mean? Yeah. As long as you're yeah. saying yeah, yeah, cat behavior. Right? Yeah, this is behavior. this is something this is that's happening in our area. Yes, yeah, there's something that is happening in our area, um, but it's happening pretty frequently and at higher rates than normal. Mm -hmm. So I think tracking where these incidents are happening it's like how is like it's trying to track it not so much as it happens but like trying to keep up with where all this animal is being is like we know that there's something going on and you know we find this cat at one point and there's a that wisp of like of air that's surrounding it we're like oh come on <laughs> <laughs> um so I, right it's like and, and it's like you blink and you miss it yeah right? it's, so it's like you know you you see it and it's there and it's gone and then what the heck is it the thing where it like you know walks behind the trunk and then next we see it's literally meowing at us from like the top of the tree mm -hmm. and we're like what mm -hmm. the heck like wait a second <laughs> right absolutely <laughs> um so i think it's getting to be too fast for us mm. and maybe we want to i don't know let it change into something else like we'll catch it again when it becomes something different because all of these mm. creatures like the the water ones are like they're all malleable you know yeah they can kind of become a lot of different things um but uh well for Vera, she's sick of it. <laughs> Plain and simple. She's just sick of it. She's like, we're never going to catch this. And um, we should just wait until it becomes something else. So Vera is probably the first one to say we cannot catch this, or at least we can't catch it as we are. So um, do you all agree with me or do you bolster me up? I have that question for all of you. Why Zelda's not a runner. <laughs> I say, Lila's definitely a type to be like, no guys, like we can do this. Like we've like, she's definitely like the pump you up. Like we can do it with the power of friendship type <laughs> of person. Yeah. Um... It's our responsibility to capture these these creatures and take them back to, you know, we all know they're not evil, but, you know, they get up to no good. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zelda's not a runner. Zelda, Zelda's, like, huffing and puffing, carrying this giant pole arm. <laughs> okay. Here I'm I not saying no. I'm just saying I'm tired. <laughs> Yeah, Vera, you're the you're the fastest and strongest of all of us. So if you know physicality isn't working, you're right. We need to do something different. Yeah. If punches don't work, we talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> we tried bribing it with tuna. You know, I think that might that would actually we would we would try. We've been approaching it as an elemental, not uh -huh. as a cat. Okay, okay. It's living so, its best life as a cat. Mm -hmm, and it just wants to keep doing that. <laughs> like, um, it doesn't mean to do these things. It's just the cat instincts are so strong. It's mm -hmm. overwhelming the elemental instincts. Exactly. 
So I think once we begin to look at it from that different angle, we are able to lure it and capture it. Um, and I, we do not give up. So there any more questions? I have a question. Yes. Do we capture it as however we do with these, whether like cards or whatever Balls. our method of... <laughs> no, wait, what? <laughs> that wasn't my question, but that's great. <laughs> uh, my question was, do you keep it as a pet? Because <laughs> it's because it was it just wants to be a cat. <laughs> like... It does. I think... Um... I might approach your mom about mm -hmm. it to see if there's any anything that we can do to kind of temper its instincts. My mom has like a magical ribbon or something. Yeah, that yeah. Like goes that around keeps its... it in cat form. Yeah, that keeps That's... it. In... It's like as long as it's like this, as long as it keeps the ribbon on, it'll stay. You know, um, it's like more a magic docile. Suppressant. Yeah. Yeah. And Zelda will be there with a lecture about how you should keep your pets indoors because outdoor, <laughs> outside, they are menaces to society and the ecosystem. Yeah. I think it's still, a like, I think it's still, it's the, the collar that your mom provides is like a, an elemental, like, suppressant. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a cat, but it's still an elemental. So it's still very mischievous and definitely still gets out. Yeah. But only to like help us maybe Ooh. like we like we it's it's almost like a bit of a a bit of a tuxedo mask like it shows up <laughs> it shows up. you just hear like a little meow mm -hmm. in the middle of a fight and you're like oh oh god I was gonna say right. maybe like the the ribbon is like a really nice pretty like ribbon or with like a bow on it or something like that that suppresses it, but maybe there's also like a little bell and it is silent to all of us, but maybe Vera can hear it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because it's linked yeah. to Vera. And so like, uh, you know what I mean? As it like, if it if it leaves the house, just no matter where it is, you hear this like ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. I, I know, always know where it is. You know where it is. <laughs> you can always cold. find it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. So yeah, I'm I uh Zelda gets the weapons, I get the animals. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's awesome. very, very good. Yeah, I like it. That's so so good. Any other questions? That was what my question. Oh again. no question. What's its name. Oh no. <laughs> oh, cat, yes. name, cat name, cat, um, cat, cat name, elemental. Cat name. It was cat. was it air? Was it it was in the air, it was an air elemental. Um I'd probably, I'd probably, she's not creative, so she'd probably call it wind. <laughs> I like that. But she'd probably that just works. call it wind. That's so cute, though. Nothing wrong yeah. with that. I love that. That's so good. Okay. Are we, are we cool for? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. One more. All right. Uno mas. Oops, I lost it. Okay, there we go. Five oak cups. I feel like we've drawn like all of the cups. There's a lot of yeah. <gasps> Oh no! Oh. oh no! Oh no, I haven't gotten there yet. Oh. I mean, it's up I, to you. It's up yeah, to you I if you, you don't want to do want, it. No, I don't want to. You don't have to. Do to. You can exit. Yeah. That's yeah, a really good I, thing for, for anyone that hasn't played these games before. Um, in, in For the Queen and in any version of For the Queen, you can use that X card not just for safety, which you should absolutely. You know implement safety tools and x cards at your table but also just if you feel it is inappropriate or like that doesn't fit your story or doesn't fit your character or any of those things you can feel free you can feel comfortable and good about yeah x things. only so this bittersweet is... vibes in this game <laughs> yeah so this this card was something heartbreaking happens to you and i just not no, feeling bad it. Things so, bad things don't happen to us. Yeah, we just want happy things. <laughs> like, so, like troublesome things happen to us. Right. Inconvenient things happen. Not, yeah. Exactly. So, let's see. So we're going to do ten of swords and say, nope, swords are the other way. <gasps> this is perfect because you wanted to transform. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yay. All right. Ten of swords is you end up way over your head in a really big fight against the creature. Do you overcome this alone or do you ask for help? Oh, all right. So I think that the 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 scene is 
that Lila is staying after school for tutoring help. <laughs> um, and it's just like her. <laughs> And it's just her, like, she stayed after there was, like, a tutor there with her, and it was, there's, like, really nobody else in the school. And as she's leaving the, as she's leaving the school, there's just, like, this, like, rumble. And all of a sudden, there's, like, Dusty would know the word for it. Like, just, like, a fissure, like, a upward. Fault? Yeah, like just like a peak in the ground and just like shoots past like something's tunneling like right under the surface of the rock. Um, and like a rock elemental, like an earth elemental, like pops out of it. Um and Lila, I'm assuming that we all have communicators, um, because of course we do. We're magical girls. Um, so I think she like says, like calls like into the communicator like elemental at the school i'm gonna try to like i'm gonna try to take care of it but just so you know this is happening you might need to come down to the school um and then she'll transform Ooh. um i've had the longest to think of this so i should be more prepared than i am um but i think how it happened so i think her transformation is like the camera like pans around in Lila and she like winks and like a star comes out of her eye and she takes mm -hmm. it and throws it into the air and it like explodes into like a firework of glitter and like falls down on her and the glitter just like sticks in the form of her outfit um which is pink so it's like um I'd say like the top is like your kind of standard like sailor like fuku like it's like a tank with like a little kind of cloak but it goes down in her the skirt is like knee length in the front and then like sweeps out in the back in like the in like a ruffly type wavy deal um with like this giant sparkly bow on the back which is probably the last like little bit of the transformation is like this big bow on her back popping out is and tying it is tying it the yeah it's like part tying it. it and it just like well and then she has like short little like wrist gloves um and then knee high boots with just like a with um with like little glittery laces on them love it oh i love it it's so good <laughs> she's just very yeah it's just all in like the whole thing and she's very very sparkly um so with that knowing that um that she's gonna try to like do it herself um just kind of goes like racing in and armed with re i figure it's probably recently that she feels a lot more um confident in herself as a magic girl she's like no i can do this like they're gonna get here and i'm gonna have this all cleaned up um so she goes into this fight and is very quickly overpowered by this thing that is much, much bigger and much stronger than her. And I think that she ends up kind of like the rock creature kind of like forms some sort of rock cocoon, for lack of a better mm -hmm. term, like around her. And she is kind of just like, oh no, and calls again. It's like, could really use some help. <laughs> So can, I think, can we hear you through the rock cocoon? I think because she's on the inside and I assume like her communicator is like on her person. Like it's very, very muffled. Mm. Um, so when you all arrive, you would see like this rock elemental and this like rock cocoon type thing. So definitely asks for help for sure. And by... Oh, maybe Zelda like cuts it open. Yeah. Like like anime yeah. swordsman style. Like there's like, like a very quick like whoosh. and you yeah. just see the the light line and just yeah. the top of it comes off. And she um and she like pulls herself out and you guys all are able to we capture the rock monster. 
Yay! Yeah. I like I the love your transformation. I, I love, I, I, no, my favorite part of your transformation is the star and the, oh. the winking star. Yeah. I'm, I'm very extra. Yeah. So, so is Lila. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Both both your your explanation that like wink star and then everywhere the glitter falls is now suit. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. like so good. I also like the idea that your mother, Yuki, has designed special glitter. Like this is actual <laughs> real glitter that transforms and is environmentally friendly and yep. dissolvable. And yes. it doesn't get all over the place. It just stays. Mm -hmm. Like, Lila's ah. very glittery. Yeah. But, like, you could hug her and not and come not be away. covered, covered in glitter. Mm -hmm. That's like, amazing. It, is, it defies that's, that's, the that, laws that, of everything. That's true magic. That's real magic. That's, like, the real... <laughs> that's the mm -hmm. real magic that's of the, all the of The real it. magic of... <laughs> the real magic was the glitter. <laughs> was, was the non-spreading glitter we found along found the way. along the way. <laughs> yes. Am I pulling another card? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Ooh. Ooh. That's a new one. Ooh. What is that, pentacles, really? Uh, nope, it's still cups. Oh, it's still cups? OK. Oh, yeah. What the oh. <laughs> It's a good one. <laughs> one of the keepers has always loved you. Why can't you express your love in return? So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna pass on this one. I was gonna for a second. For a second, I was like, no, we're, two, we're 11 years old. It's fine. But um, I'm, I'm gonna say it's, it's uh, friendship love, not romantic love. That's good. Mm -hmm. Um, and I can't express my feelings in return, my love in oh. return, because I am. Emotionally constipated. <laughs> <laughs> Another beautiful trope to accompany the the smart trope. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, I am I am very much my trope. I am very much my trope, and that's fine. That's fine. Like I I like I do the thing. So like you know like it was like oh explain how love feels as like this warm glowing thing blah blah blah. And like Zelda's just like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like I like I just do these like people are like, oh, if you love someone, you do this, this, and this. And it's like, I do those things for all my friends. What are you talking about? Like <laughs> is that not what you normally feel towards every person that you ever meet that's nice to you? Like, like that's the thing about Zelda. Zelda loves everyone equally so, so much. The idea that it, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to feel differently about certain people is completely beyond her understanding. Like like she, 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 um, she loves you all very much. Mm. Um, hang on, I wanna, I didn't get to see that one. I'm sorry. I was, no, it's I'm, okay. I was sending in a report. <laughs> you gotta throw the trash out and then you gotta clean up after the trash, you know? Yeah, that's fair. That's the worst part. Not only do you <laughs> have to throw it's the, the trash magical out, you have to girl's clean. way. Yeah. <laughs> Now I ask you, ask you to feed the monster, you then have to rebuild the town. Yeah. Exactly. Um, can't let the monster... Go ahead. No, I was going to say, can't let the monster just, just think that's the end of it. No, no, we must get rid of you completely and utterly. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, man. We have to leave things more sparkly than we found them. Exactly. So, yes. so this, this is nothing... Well, this sort of has something to do with the question. Yeah. But your brother, Yuki is responsible for that. Yes. Like, so there have been, like, this is a, I mean, this is a lot of, this is this is world expedition now, uh, exposition, but people who don't become keepers but are connected to keepers are responsible for, like, maintaining keeper secrecy. Mm -hmm. So when things get out of hand and there is destruction of property or there is, you know, something that gets to be bigger than, you know, than the keepers can can handle, 
there are people like your brother who mm. has a team of people who are, you know, keeper adjacent who are like, okay, this is standard earth elemental nonsense. Let's get the crew out. Let's get this built up. And so that's one of the things I think, I think that's one of the things that like your brother is responsible for. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah. And I wonder, sorry, go ahead. I like that a lot. No, Megan, I thought you were saying something. Nope. I was just also saying that I really like that a lot. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm wondering like if this is something that build up, built up over the generations, you know what I mean? Like more sort of um, these like support positions, like kind of naturally came into being and they have to have like codes or like they can't, you know what I mean? They can't surface level be what they are. So they all have to have like. Is it like thieves can't? Yeah. yeah almost. <laughs> like it's like just hidden places. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Perfect. It's like the the the, mag- the magical symbol on a building that you can only see if you're if you're keep if you're keeper sensitive. Let's say. <laughs> it's all the vault. It's all the vault symbols. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I love it. Um. Yeah, so like they do build regular buildings sometimes, but that's like <laughs> why it's just, it's just a cover for when they have to build magical, right? Right. or when they have to do anti monster cleanup. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Every fourth building is a non magical building. <laughs> <laughs> they have a quota of yeah. non magical buildings. It's a, it's a, it's a three to, to one do. magical to non magical building ratio. <laughs> The ratio will be screwed because the non magical building will be destroyed, and then you'll right. have a magical building because it'll yeah. be one of the first, like in the third building that you can do. Well, they put in like secret magical like support systems so that nothing gets like destroyed, and it's like so it's safe enough, you know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. that even if How a monster safe comes, is it? safe enough, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's so good. Um, I was gonna ask, so Zelda. Is there, well, <laughs> AA, <laughs> for Zelda, is, is there, like, you know, a special, like, what's Zelda's love language? Like, um, baking. pardon? Baking. Oh, baking! Because, again, again, Zelda's calling, hearkening back to my previous comment about always being stressed. Zelda's a stress baker. Oh, <laughs> love it. <laughs> Every time Zelda's like, oh, I think you're unhappy here, have a cookie. Oh, I think you're stressed here, have a cake. Oh, it's your birthday, it's Tuesday, here, have some ice cream that I made from home, I made from scratch. I am I literally, I love the idea of Zelda, like, not being able to, like, feel like she's able to truly comfort someone and like i can't talk you through this because i'm emotionally dumb but i brought you (laughs) cookies and they will make you happy when you are upset (laughs) oh it's so good i love it love her okay perfect no more questions your honor no questions (laughs) no questions (laughs) okay uh boop it's Ten, Ooh. ten of ten. Where are you, pencils? Ten. <laughs> King Sundu says, ten. "Emotionally dumb and full of treats." Oh, <laughs> yeah. yes, yes. So good. yes. I love it. That's perfect. Uh-huh. Um. Okay. Today was proof that your fellow keepers are like family to you. What happened today? It was Tuesday, and I baked a cake. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> Oh, sweet. I love it. Oh, I sweet. know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. Okay. So, um Yuki invites you all over to her like huge house. Like this is stupidly big. Um and is like, "Come in, come in, come in." And everything is so clean and pristine. Everything has a place. Um, you know what I mean? This house is like there's there's some sections of um, like you, ha- you would have to go in a bit, but I'll take you and show you like some of the like historical objects and stuff like that. But you'll notice this place is like dead silent. And I don't know which one of you is it, but someone is like, where's, where's like your mom and stuff? Oh, she went away on a trip. When did she go away on a trip? Like two weeks ago. Oh She no. had to go. Oh, Lila's well, probably just like, yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. And then like, and like, and like. Yeah, and you know, my brother's still gone, and like, you know, my dad, 
my dad is just always busy, so I just uh I would I you know I'd love it if you I'm I'm really I really appreciate that yes. you all came over. I live here now. Zelda's yeah. like, where's your kitchen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're now. right now. <laughs> How many guest bedrooms do you have? We all live here now. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Really? You you would all sleep over? You would all like come? I mean, I I I yes. I, I have yes. to ask. I have to ask my nanny Hilda. But <laughs> Hilda's fine with it. Yeah, Hilda's fine with it. Hilda like Hold stomps on. it. Is like hmm, and then like walks out. <laughs> I'm already on my phone calling all of our mothers. Like, yeah. uh sleep over at. Yuki's house. Yeah. Like, my sleep up, and, and in the background, you hear me going, sleep over by which we mean we'll be back in like three weeks. Yeah. Maybe don't yes. worry about it. This group I'm like, of 12 year olds. Like, it's like, Dad, can you bring me some clothes? I'm sleeping over at Yuki's. Yeah. And by clothes, I mean all of my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Just throw everything into a bag. It's fine. Like, yeah. I think yeah. once, once we all realize exactly what's going on, it's like attack mode, like a battle <laughs> position. <laughs> It's like we all break up and we break in the formation and determine how exactly how how exactly we're gonna properly commandeer this house. You will be comfortable never alone. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I think I think like um you know, Yuki's like, Oh, I've never had I've never had friends like stay over before. You know, it's that like sad thing of like oh, uh, no. <laughs> like I really I'm so I'm so happy that you all actually want to stay over. You know, it's some people think it's kind of stuffy in here and like, you know, either it's like full of business or it's empty. That's kind of the only states of the house. So it's it's really it smells it never smells this nice looking over at Zelda baking, like making the whole house smell like Aww. so warm and so much more lived in than it normally is. Dutch cocoa cookies, my specialty. Amazing. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I want cookies. And so that is why today is proof that the keepers are like family to me. Mm. I love this. <laughs> So I, I love okay can i just point out that i love that this game has those moments of like high tension drama like magical transformation but then also just these sweet tender like non-magical moments mm -hmm. it's so i good. think this this particular episode is a completely non-magical episode it's one of those slice of life episodes yeah oh yeah. that ends with you yuki like being at home by yourself and you just, no so each of our each of our little episodes ends with a phone call from you <laughs> so then the final bit of it is um the final bit of it is, is us all getting to your house and then this moment i love it yeah. my heart yeah i love it's it, like, it it, it it starts off like Yuki starts it and then we all end it. So like Yuki starts it with like, you know, your mom is going away and she'll be back in a week or two and, you know, you're fine. And we get like a little bit of what you do. Like you, you know, ride your scooter down the hallway or whatever. <laughs> you, you, you make that fun for yourself. And then like you come home from school and it's like super empty. And then you give us all a call and then it's like slice of life. Me a slice of life, Lila, slice of life. Zelda, as we all get phone calls at the end of our segments, and then we all come over, and then yeah. I love this so much. Yeah, this is so yeah. good. I love it. You can use Anna from Pro to entertain. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> how I picture it. It's like what every kid does when they're alone is they immediately like, I'm gonna break all the rules, and then all the and then you're like, oh well now now what? That was short lived. <laughs> what now? It wasn't I as fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> Right. No further questions. No further questions. No further questions. It's my turn. So, one. Or are we going to do the Wheel of Fortune as the last? Oh, yeah. But are we going to do one more and then the Wheel of Fortune? Uh, we're, apparently, we're doing one more because okay. my, okay. my card is not the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. It is the Ace of Wands. All right. Which... Ooh. 
Interesting. Oh, the magician helped you discover your magic. Describe the wondrous events and how you started your path as a keeper of the cards. So we've already talked about how I became a magical girl and how that whole thing happened. But um, it was one of those scenarios where you three as the keepers already were overwhelmed and I was beginning to get overwhelmed and it was the voice in my head that I heard. Ooh. So the oracle came, like the, the magician came to me and was like, you have a purpose beyond what you imagine your life to be. Uh, do you accept this power? And I was like, yes, just get me the heck out of this. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's trying to read you the terms and conditions? Like, no, no, okay, like, okay, scroll down, hit accept. <laughs> <laughs> So it was it was during that moment, like there is almost like this this moment of where the air is almost out of my lungs and and there is like that moment of Zen. And then it's like that 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 fade to black, and then it's like bright flash of light, and then this mystical, unidentifiable being that I see before me, and it's like, your journey does not end here. And I'm like, what the heck? Come on, I was just swimming. So yeah, um, and I, I think this kind of happened for all of us um, that the oracle, like during our moment of transformation, the oracle came and uh, spoke to us all and said that that was how this was this was going to be our path. Questions from my keepers? Do so you said okay you. At first, I thought, like, maybe the Oracle only spoke to you, and I was going to ask if you had a special connection to the Oracle, and I was going to say, do each of us, like, connect back, like, um, to the history of a role within, within the party? Organization? Uh, I think so. I mean, like, I think we all have a... I like to think, I mean, the Oracle, since, since the Oracle has been the Oracle, they have spoken to every keeper at some point. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I mean, I potentially, so. there are multiple oracles too. Like it doesn't mm -hmm. say specifically it, there's it, just it, one. So this like, is true. It's the Avatar. <laughs> 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 so I think like the oracle that spoke to each of us. I mean, may have been a different oracle or, um. Oh, yeah. Okay. More world building. So each oracle was created through a specific type of sacrifice, right? Ooh. Ooh. So depending on what, I mean, it, it, you know, it's a sacrifice either way, but depending on the circumstances, they became like a different kind of oracle. That's cool. So, um, that's super neat. And I, I don't, I don't quite know what oracle may have spoken to me, but it was, in that, uh, is, is there an oracle of just being done? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was like the oracle of, uh, of I'm tired of this. I was saying because like maybe it's someone that like fought against their like destiny as a keeper for so long, and then like Ooh. their Ooh. moment of sacrifice was them finally like accepting themselves mm -hmm. as a magician. Mm -hmm. So their your oracle is trying to be like, you can't fight this. Trust me, I tried it my whole life. <laughs> 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 like they they didn't become a lover. <laughs> they didn't become a keeper as a kid, but they still were involved. Mm. And then at the moment of their sacrifice, like their power was was a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so the the oracle of of uh, uh, perseverance, I'll say, or something like that. That's so and good. I love that. I like it a lot. That's I like amazing. it a lot as well. Awesome. Any other well, questions? Any other questions? Then, what does your oracle look like? Ooh, um, my oracle was a a, a feminine figure, um, shrouded in mystery. Um, <laughs> like the the presence that I felt, like the 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 figure is is undefinable, but definitely like feminine in like shape. Mm -hmm. Um, I def I felt a a calm presence and then all of a sudden like this fierce 
desire to protect and to overcome, like to be more than, to be more than I was in that moment. Which yeah. helped me to break free of the water elementals uh, hold. Nice. And do the same for you all. I love it. Yay. Love it. It's so good. Any any more questions? No. Okay. Megan. Final question time. Yeah. Do we have the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, somewhere? it's if you scroll down. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's hiding. Yeah. yeah. Hang on. Wait. Oh, wait. You I, have, I have a thing for this. It has a thing. Oh, the card went away. Ding oh. dong. Well, we all know what card it was. <laughs> That's right here. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought I pulled you all over to a new. Oh, maybe because you're a GM, it didn't happen. Did it happen for the oh, other yeah, two? Did, did you go to the... Yeah, uh, I Megan, if you go it. to the top, there's yep. another... I made an end screen. Oh, cute. <laughs> yeah, because I, I was a GM, it didn't, didn't pull me with you. You yeah. can drag that card from one place to the other. You should be able to, but I don't know how. <laughs> That's okay. We know what card it is. We know what card it is. <laughs> it's the Wheel of Fortune, for anyone that doesn't know. <laughs> that is the card. All right, so yeah, will you free the creatures of magic or will you claim this deck of power for yourself? So all of us will answer this and then the epilogue, is that what we do? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes, narrate an epilogue for each character. Um. So if we're going in the same order, I think I think Lila chooses to free them because part part of it it was it was a hard decision for her because part of it is like she is much more competent as a magical girl and it's like oh I could claim this power and like be even more magical but also these creatures will exist no matter what so. If I release them, maybe they'll help me if I need them, and we can always catch them again if we have to. So I yeah. think that, yeah, so I think Lila chooses to free them. Do we want to do oh. epilogues too, or do we want to all go answer the question? I think we, we all answer the question, and then we all do epilogues. Okay. okay. Um, gives me time I to think. <laughs> I'd like to think Zelda would free them, but with the caveat, very important, that she lectures every, <laughs> every, every, each card. Each and every one of them gets a lecture about this is where this is your new home. This is where you can do your thing, and like don't leave this place. Like with the caveat of don't destroy the world because we don't want to put you back in this book of cards. Mm. Like. And like since our since the original card way back when they were trying to build a home, um, mm -hmm. so like this is this is a place that you're gonna build your new home. Yeah, like this is, these are the bounds of your city. Like, mm -hmm. feel free to explore beyond the bounds of your city, but don't destroy anything outside of the bounds of your city because that'd be bad. But they'll not, like prior to us, like we like we, like I I like to think prior to us deciding whether we're gonna free them or not, like um. Zelda has come up with like a three point plan. PowerPoint spread and everything. Love it. Zelda's prepared for this lecture and you will hear it. I brought you this PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. It's beautiful. I have been working on this for years. <laughs> since, I became a mag since I became a magical girl, I've been working on it. Like, it's, 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 yeah. it's, evolving. it's a living document. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's so good. Um Yeah, I think I think Dark Sparks galore. <laughs> uh I don't think I don't think Yuki wants to claim it for herself, but there is some of that like feeling of like honor bound, like should it should it stay 
put away like some of the other like great relics but then at the same time i think i imagine we've been like working all this time and also the magical girl support crew has been working overtime to <laughs> to, yeah. to to help make sure because they these creatures like you said it we've all said it before they're not evil they're just natural entities and they're in the wrong place so i yeah. think that um, you know, like literally they, half of them were just trying to like nest or make a home mm -hmm. or were like trying to do a thing. So it's very much like, you know, when we find it, like maybe like we have some like big fights and some big battles, um, closer to the water and we're like, wait a second, this is where they want it. They want to be over like here, mm -hmm. <laughs> which seems like fine as long as they like, there's a lot of. There's a lot of water space in the world. <laughs> like, yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of water space. There's a lot of. <laughs> we're not using it for like we're not living in it. So Listen, we... oceans are terrifying. Yeah, right. So I think definitely like I think Yuki might be a little bit like tense and a little bit like, well, are we sure? Like, you know what I mean? But the second we know for sure, like, we see how they interact in their own space, and it's so serene, and it's so clear it's where they're supposed to be, and, like, all that sort of stuff. So it's like, yeah. They definitely need to be free. Um, I agree. Uh, however, no. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you all yes, but then... <laughs> He'll turn. Uh, no, uh... Vera will also uh, agree that the creatures need to be freed and uh, bond together with her keeper friends to um, make sure that we are freeing them uh, ethically and responsibly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> by dumping them in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Yeet. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, uh, this water's empty. Yeet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vera, I'm done with your shit. Get into the water with you. Get into the water. <laughs> Get out. Bye. Um, they cause think, problems or else. Right? Vera, Vera would uh, have a very tearful uh, farewell with wind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, she she can keep wind. Wind has a collar. Yeah, but if everybody else is going, well, yeah. okay. Here's what's gonna. Here's what would happen. Yeah. Uh, with wind, they go to whatever beach that they're eating these elementals into the water at, and uh, remove wind's collar and be like, you know, you're free to go. Um, you know. This is where you belong, and this is, uh, you know, this will be your new home. And you were great, and I love you. And um, I don't have. I was gonna roll a d twenty and see what, <laughs> see what Wim was gonna do, but I, it's an d twenty for you. I rolled an eight. Okay. Um, so wind goes with the rest of the elementals, but every so often. Um, in uh Vera will hear a bell. I mean, so, they're watching over you from a distance. Yeah, oh exactly. So every like so often. Like a creeper, like a creeper kitty stalker that they are. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I I can just see so the scene. And... <laughs> I can just see the scene where Vera like takes off the ribbon, like takes off the bow and like wind changes into their elemental form but then almost comes back as like a wind cat for one mm -hmm. like last goodbye to vera mm -hmm. and then like one day we're in school and we're like doing like algebra or something and then even like i keep the i keep the bow the the ribbon with me all the time Aww. and uh even with the ribbon and the bell with me i still every so often will hear the ringing of a bell and uh yeah and the wind will blow a little harder that day <laughs> i love it i love it i love it so much so good that's so good i mean that was also kind of her epilogue a little yeah bit. <laughs> i was gonna say you had like a whole good story there but uh megan do you have any like last things for yeah lila i think i think that lila 
like I like mentioned like she's good at like the arts and stuff and I think the school play that we saved <laughs> made better improved upon improved enhanced <laughs> was like her first um like time oh. like acting and she just like fell in love with it and becomes like a drama a drama person and like oh, I love it sings and acts and all that stuff because she's like really good at that she's not great at schoolwork but she's like really good at this yeah um and while she still like struggles in her other areas of study like every so often that wind elemental that she had freed in the beginning to help her pass her PE test to like come back around and help her out if she needs it or like if she's on stage like gives her some like dramatic (laughs) uh, dramatic entrance just like um but yeah I think the epilogue is like her like just like a brief montage of her like singing and her like on stage and still oh. falling over her own feet during PE and stuff <laughs> like that but she she is like an artsy girl I love, I love it. it I do I know what my epilogue is now you give me the idea well, what my epilogue you, you're up so yeah it's perfect good timing <laughs> good timing my epilogue is Zelda in Yuki's kitchen bacon like I, I have like a case like you like it's just me. It's just Zelda. It's just shots of Zelda in various places going about her life, and Zelda and like at the end of the day, following Yuki home, to bake in her kitchen. Oh, yeah, like, and like so good. Yuki's they, they, household, well, there's there's technically like a professional chef that comes, and like sometimes yeah. Zelda kicks him out. Like sometimes yeah, Zelda's like, kitchen. "This is my kitchen." <laughs> No, and like, I like the, the, the last scene of Zelda is Zelda offering like a slice of cake to Yuki's mom. Like, I managed to talk to your mom. Oh, oh, I love that. I love that so much. Character growth. That's so good. That's so good. Good. I love it so much. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's, but that's my epilogue. That's my there, my, there. my mom didn't realize you weren't talking to her because she thought she thought you were having you had because <laughs> she's because she's like praised you a few times. I feel like yeah, no, no. Like your mom is like like your mom has built up my confidence enough that I am confident enough to actually like use my words around her. That's amazing. I love it. That's so good. Perfect. Perfect. Um, and, now you're, and now whenever your mom leaves, you're never home alone because we all show up and, like, live in your house. <laughs> I know. My Our mom's parents. just like, your, your friends are here again? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Our parents are fine with it because yeah. they're, an, they're anime parents. Go home. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, like, Lila's got a single dad. He's just like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, I love it. I can't keep track of you. Um... <laughs> I think, like, uh, Yuki's epilogue is that she goes down into the room of relics because <laughs> this is such a, like, important family thing in her family. And there's, like, this big book. Sorry, cats. <laughs> um, and she writes, like, entries for all of us. Like, writes entries, writes about... writes about Vera's cat, the elemental. Let's just make it all sorts of noise. Let's just make it all sorts of noise. So, like, your house is where they keep, like, the Book of Keepers? Yeah, exactly. The Book of Keepers is there, and so, like, uh, after our adventures stop, Yuki still keeps up the stories by, like, writing down each of our adventures together, writing down, you know, when Zelda first got her staff, and when Lila, you know, had to take on the entire Earth Elemental alone until everyone else came along. And when Vera first, you know, burst all the bubbles with her, like, powers and everything like that. And, like, writes all this down so that, you know, future, future, future generations of Keepers know our story. I love that. Look at so what we've nice. done. Don't do what we did. Do it better. <laughs> <laughs> 
do it. <laughs> Leave everything more sparkly than you found it. Exactly. Exactly. But Lila's standing over. Lila's like, did you put that? Did you write the thing I told you to write in it? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. It's actually, you know, it, it's it, maybe it seems kind of silly when you first hear it, but it actually is very nice. Yeah. It's a good. It's a good moral <laughs> to the story. Perfect. I love it. Um. I don't think I have anything much to add. Um, Vera still swims. Like she's still the athlete, but I think you see her from her time with you, you three, you see her begin to talk to more people. So you see her. Um, butterfly. Yeah. She, not, and not a, a complete social butterfly, but you see her. Um, talking to you know like two other kids at lunch or and then like waving the rest of you over because y'all are so shocked to see me talking to people new <laughs> um, friends. right new friends and um i think really just life life goes on but the the wind finale was really her epilogue so nice that makes sense i love it this was so good thank you all so much for playing it's over this was, so wonderful. this was so good it's such a good game and y'all we made such a cute story together we did uh, oh it's just so good i love it so much thank you all so much for for playing anyone in the chat if you haven't already check out this game exclamation point keepers in the chat we'll get you the info check it out and all of jamie's other games because they are an amazing game creator and they make such good games um, and this is only one of many wonderful games by Jammy. Um, but let's go around and say goodbye to everyone. Please tell us who you are, where we can find you, what sort of exciting stuff you're up to. We want to hear all of it. And we're going to go in reverse order. So we're going to start with K.A. Oh, OK. We're starting with me. Hold on a second. I'm not I'm not ready. I mean, I am ready, <laughs> but I'm not ready. OK, I'm ready. Um, I do a link in chat. Um, but like, I got bigger. you. Thank you. Um, so you can find me at Little Red Alchemist on Twitter uh, or at Margaret Catter Dev. I also make games under as Margaret Catter Dev on itch.io. Uh, I'm currently working on a game with magic girls and giant robots, among other things. Among oh, other things. Um, so maybe we'll get to see we'll get to see a reincarnation of Zelda someplace else. Oh, yeah. yay! So our our elementary school years are magical girls. Our high school years are giant max. Yes. <gasps> yes. yes. Talk about a level. Up. Oh my! We gotta save the ocean, y'all. <laughs> Because we've been <laughs> we've been putting too much stuff in the ocean. No, other <laughs> people go. Stuff. Listen, no, we're the good guys. We didn't do a bad. Those Slaps elementals ocean. are this supposed bad boy to be. Can like... fit so many elementals in it. <laughs> 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 like you wouldn't believe. Um, yeah. But you can find me on Twitter at Little Red Alchemist. It's like my regular day job person where I yell about politics, anxiety, depression, and games. Uh, and then little uh, Margaret Catter Dev is where you can find me to do. Game dev stuff because I like to keep those two things separate. Makes sense. Makes sense. Good call. Um, it was a black. It was a wonder. It was wonderful playing this game. It was thank so you so fun. much. I love it so much. Love Zelda. So good. So thank good. You. Thank you so much. You're welcome, <sighs> Megan. Oh, is it me? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Already paired order one. So. Hello, I am Megan. You can find me most anywhere at Megan Lynn FTW. Um. Let me see. What do I have going on right now? Um, you I don't think have a can... Megan man. Let me check. <laughs> is there a? Me... Oh, I, I think there is. Hey, yeah, there is. There totally is. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so oh, I There's am an indie game designer. You can find my games at meganlinftw.itch.io. You can find me on Monday. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> you can find me on Mondays at twitch.tv slash chromatic chimera where I play in a DD wild mount campaign. You can also find me there once a month, usually the last Tuesday of every month, um, for my show Unprepared, where I facilitate a different GM list and prep list game for a different group of people. This month, um, we are going to be playing on the 30th, so that's in two, two weeks, three weeks. I'm looking at a calendar and I still can't get it right. So in three weeks on the 30th, um, we will be playing one of my games, um, 
which will be the first time or second time I've ever streamed one of my games. So we'll be playing my Firebrand Tap One Particular Harbor, which is about pirates and mermaids, which I will also be playing here. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> next month, we are actually playing Keepers of the Cards um, for July's yeah. episode of Unprepared. Jess will be there. Um, and I'm very excited to get to play this game again. Um, we traded spots. You come on my show, spots. I come on your show. show. Like, trades. Um, so I'm just super, super excited about that. And yeah, I think that's a, yeah, that's me. So I'll toss it on over to Latia. Or hi, everybody. Way. I don't know. I'm, I'm everywhere. <laughs> um, hi, uh, I'm Latia. You can find me across the internet at the Lady Tiefling. Uh, T-H-E-L-A-D-Y-T-I-E-F-L-I-N-G. Um, tomorrow morning at 9.30 Eastern, I will be on twitch.tv slash the Onyx Path for Onyx PathCon um, on a panel called Run Your Best RPG. Uh, so we'll be talking about um, how to be the best GM you can be uh, running your, uh, your various RPGs. Um, I'm also a cast member of the Wizard-sponsored stream, Rivals of Waterdeep. Um, our seventh season begins on the 21st, so um, you can go to twitch.tv slash dnd, because we're on the DND official channel, um, and watch us there starting on the 21st. Um, we have an uh, enormous backload of content as well. I just DM'd a hilarious uh, musical-themed one-shot last Sunday that was really, really great. Um, but mostly I yell a lot about D and D and flow arts and D and D and planners on Twitter. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We're planner buddies. <laughs> Mine is in my room. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, come find me on Twitter. I love to talk to people. Heck yeah. Amazing. Thank you all for coming and playing this game. I'm so, I'm so happy. It's so good. <laughs> it was so my good. Heart is so, so my good. heart is so full of yeah. glitter and friendship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. I literally am like, I just want to go watch a bunch of Magical Girl yeah, anime I'm now. Just, I'm going to go watch Card Capture yep, Secure like, once we're finished. Yeah. This is <laughs> amazing. Play. Thank you all so much. This is so good. Um, And thank you to Jamie, Jamie. who made this amazing game. Yes, um, Jamie, you rock. Yeah. Jamie, this you're is amazing. So good. All the I props. Do? We're so good. Like we were, we were able to like make so much out of it, and like so so good. Oh, it's keepers with an S. Yeah, yeah there you oh, go. with an S. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Like, do I have permission to do that or no? No, you're good. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> yeah, keepers. Um, so thank you so much for this game. Uh, please check out all these people and all that they do. They are all awesome. They all make cool stuff. Uh, please, please go and find them, support them, um, and all the cool stuff they do. Um, also, put I'm gonna put it myself. I'm going to thank, I'm going to one more time just thank uh, Roll20 for giving us this tarot deck and um, sponsoring this show just by kind of shouting us out and giving me tarot decks when I ask for them. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you if you ever want to come hang out with us some more, uh, we are here, well, <laughs> my, uh, I try to have lots of different folks on this channel playing lots of different games. I'm going to try. We definitely already have Megan set up. It's going to come back and run one of her games. I'm going to try and convince K.A. I'm going to work on it. I mean, if Latia is no, finds is is not busy at some point, which I don't know <laughs> when that would be, but I oh would my gosh. love to have you back anytime. Y'all are all amazing. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, but yeah, we do all sorts of stuff on this channel. Video games, TTRPGs, regular Blades in the Dark, um, Fiasco Fridays, Indie Showcases, whenever we can do it, and coming up near the end of the month, uh, June 28th, we are going to have uh, an all-day tabletop gaze day, which is oh. to say we are playing all queer games all day, raising money for the Trevor Project um, with as many different folks as we can get our hands on. I'm still organizing that, but Megan is slated in to run us uh yeah to run us some uh, uh gay mermaid gay mermaids and pirates and sailors i'm pretty sure uh, yep. our good friend q who i'm not sure if he's still in the chat is gonna run us some queer heists um Ooh. yeah we're we're working on it um i've got confirmation that uh i don't know if he's still here but knit knit knack in the chat is gonna run us some dragon hearts which Ooh. is a smoochy Ooh. dragon game 
which I'm very excited for. So wow, that sounds right so up my alley. I know. I'm <laughs> I'm so excited. It's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of good content. I'm still working out some of the final details, but you will hear me shouting about it very soon over on Twitter and over in our Discord and over on this channel. So thank you so much. Thank you for being here, for, for hanging out with us for this unbelievably amazing and fun game. Uh, I hope you all stay safe out there. Please take care of you. Um, wash your hands, get some rest, take your meds, hydrate. Be safe, mm. part your heckin' face, and hopefully we can all hang out and play more games together very, very soon. Thanks for watching, y'all. Part your faces. See you later. Bye! Bye.